Zone. It's your boy H Money, Mr. The Zone. We in a building, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, man, live turn up. You see me with the Kobe Bryant jersey. Rest in peace to the late great Kobe Bryant. You heard what I'm saying? Rest in peace to the great, the legend, Kobe Bryant, bro. We live at the fights. You know what I'm saying? Alexis Saucedo versus Sonny Fredrickson, dog. You know what I mean? So we live, man. I love some uh, Alex Salido, bro. Salido, he ain't no joke, bro. So, man, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Y'all know the etiquettes when you step into the building. Make sure you hit that like button and don't even wait, bro. Live at the fights, man. This is what we do best, man. Live commentary. You know what I mean? My live commentary is bar none the best in the sport, bro. The best in boxing, the best in basketball, MMA, NFL. You know what I mean? Soccer ball. There we go, Lil BZ. Lil B. What up, though, Lil B? We in here, dog. We in here, man. Valito. Let me drop links, man. Let's get into it. Rest in peace, Kobe. You already know, Coco. Hey, Byron. You already know, Byron, Kobe, Bryant. Rest in peace, Lil B. What up, Lil B? What's up with it, Valito? You know what I mean? Coco the Don in the building. Shout out to uh, Lil Byron, Lil B. You know what I mean? Shout out to Valix. Man, we doing it big, man. Shout out to Coco Tyler, too. Of course, the MXBC lifestyle, bro. We out here. Yo, what up, though, Valito? What up? What up? Man, I'm good. How you feeling, big bro? RP to Kobe, man. One of my favorite basketball players of all time. For sure, man. Me, man. Me too, bro. Kobe, I grew up in LA. You know what I mean? And Kobe was a legend in my city, bro. He was a legend. He was a legend, period. But in LA, bro, you know what I mean? Kobe was the man. What up, though? Chain TC in the building. You know what I mean? Chain TC was good, my boy. Live at the fights, live commentary, man. So, uh, man, what's your memories of Kobe Bryant as a player? That uh, his last game, his last game. I like his oh, yeah, last that, game. He had like sixty-one points then in his last game, huh? Yeah, sixty-one. Mm -hmm. Sixty-one. My bad. Let me correct myself, bro. Yeah, man, he went in, didn't he, for that last game, didn't it, big bro? Sure did against the Utah Jazz. Oh yeah, he sure did, bro. You know what I mean? And Lil Byron, Lil B, shout out to Lil B. He's a big time Kobe Bryant fan. You know what I mean? The memory of Kobe Bryant will definitely live on right here on this channel, man. Live fights, bro. So, man, how's everything going, man? How the family? Everybody's safe, ain't it, bro? Yeah, my family's safe. Man, that's good, bro. That's good, bro. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody. Coco in the chat. Chain TC. Oh, yeah, man. But Lil Byron said, what's up to you, by the way? You know what I mean? What's up, Lil B? What's up, Lil B? What do you do, bro? And we got big fights tonight. Alex Salido. You know what I mean? We could talk about everything on this channel. You know how we do it. We could go into that uh, Tyson Fury uh, conspiracy, man. What's your thoughts about Tyson Fury, bro? Man, just like what you said, man, he's a rat, dude. He's a rat. Snitch. Yeah, he's a snitch. Yeah. You're right. He is a snitch, too. Tyson Fury snitched on uh, Deontay Wilder's trainer because he got caught cheating and stuff. That's what snitches do, bro. Just like Takashi 6 ix 9 mm. Once you put that pressure on them, you know what I mean? Once once you put that pressure on them, they end up folding. So we got a lot of fights on today. Matter of fact, it's four fights. Four fights on the card tonight, man. We finna enjoy it. Hit the like button. Don't wait. You know what I mean? Tell a friend. Share the video if you can, bro. And I appreciate everybody. Chain TC, Coco the Don, Lil B, you know what I mean? Coco Tyler, Fresh BX, Val Valix, you know what I mean? Um, Everybody, bro, from the LDBC, the MXBC, and the J4B movements, bro. You know what I mean? 6 9 may sn snitching cool again. That's a big fact, though. Yep. Byron said um, he might be gone, but his spirit will live on. You're right, Byron. For mm -hmm. real, bro. We will never forget about him. Go ahead, Alex. I just said, mm, I was just agreeing with you. I say. Yeah. Yeah, man. You're right, Lil B. We totally agree with you, Lil B. 110% on that one, bro. You know what I mean? 
For sure, bro. We out here making it do what it does. He said, 6 9 made snitching cool again. Yup, just like Glenn, when Glenn was on the channel and he got caught snitching as well when we was live that day and our whole live stream got shut down because Glenn snitched. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a whole lot of snitches around here, bro. You got to watch out. I've been snitched on before. That's not a good feeling, bro. I got snitched on in the streets, bro. You know what I mean? But I still, you know what I mean, managed to come up out the situation. You know what I mean? And yeah, bro, let's go, bro. Let's go. Turn up. Everybody hit the like button. We got Jose Vargas, Josue Vargas versus Salvador Brancino in the co-main event tonight. You know what I mean? So yeah, bro. That way, big bro. That way, correct way. You know what I mean? Live fights, bro. Shout out to all the great fighters in the sport of boxing. Um, Devin Haney, you know what I mean? Miguel Burchett had a great performance last uh this past uh Saturday. Miguel Burchett looked great. Shout outs to Shakur Stevenson's. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we can see that fight between Miguel Burchett and Shakur Stevenson, bro. That's if Shakur Stevenson ain't ducking. If he ain't ducking the fade, bro, because guess what? Miguel Burchett called him out. So, you know what? Let's make the fade happen, bro. If Shakur Stevenson want to be a champion at 130 pounds, go and fight Miguel Burchett, homie. You know what I mean? We want that fight ASAP, bro. No cap, that is. You know what I mean? We don't duck no fades on this side, bro. I don't duck no debates. I drop my location all the time, bro. You know what I mean? I show my face, bro. So if anybody got a problem with me, you know what I look like. You know where I live at. You know what I mean? We can do it whenever and however, bro. Point blank, period. You know what I mean? That's how G's do it. That's how that's how they do it where I'm from, bro. They meet up. You know what I mean? And you can do it, bro. You know what I mean? We can, you know, we can fight. You know what I'm saying? We can fight, bro. You see my hands. Y'all see me, Shadow Box. Y'all seen my hand speed, bro. That's why I'm getting ducked. They don't want nothing to do with that hand speed I bring to the table, bro. You know what I mean? Glenn ran. Glenn ran out the He ran off the stream, bro, and snitched because he couldn't handle that pressure. You know what I mean? Jose Camacho ducked me, ran out the – he ran off the live stream, bro. He ran and ducked me. He ducked me during the debate. You know what I mean? Jose Camacho ducked me, bro. But it's all good though, bro. I'm the I'm the champion, bro. I'm the champion of the world. I'm undefeated, bro. You know what I mean? Shout out to JFL Heads. You know what I mean? Shout out to El Hefe. You know what I mean? The J4B. Shout out to the MXBC. Coco Tyler. Young guy, bro. We out here, bro. We making it do what it does, bro. You know what I mean? No days off, bro. You know what I mean? We going hard, bro. Go hard or go home. First fight of the evening. Trust and believe that, bro. Five fights, bro. Mr. the song. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know who that bum is. Last time I checked, bro, the man was a pirate. You talk about a pirate. Well, I think I need to play OGD. I just in the building. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. Trust and believe that. We out here, man. You must be talking about the pirate, Lil B. I don't associate with pirates. He's a pirate. You know what I mean? I heard he was on the boat. <laughs> I heard he, he went back on the boat. You know what I mean? Let's go, man. Shout out to Coco, to Don, D. Hodges. You know what I mean? Holler to the man, holler at me. Join the panel. Live fight. Nice, bro. Make your picks. Who you got? Out in this one, Dante Stubbs. Study Dante Stubbs, homie. Break up, hey, Alex. I'm breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up. I'm I'm gonna switch. I right, hold up, hold up. Hey, what about now? Am I still breaking up or am I good? You good? I'm clear? Okay, okay. All right, bet. Let me know if I break up. Yeah, man. 
We want all the smoke, man. Y'all talking about a pirate. Come on, bro. We don't deal with pirates. The man on a boat, bro. You know what I mean? He's on a boat, bro. P stand for pirate. You hear me? A fraud. Let go. A hey, next level. You know what I mean? First fight of the evening. Make your picks. We got Stubbs in here. I'm going to go with Stubbs. Stubbs versus Jones. Z. Yo, what up, Z? What up, though, Z? What's good, bro? You see me? Kobe Bryant jersey. Rest in peace to Kobe. Rest in peace, bro. We love you, Kobe. Point blank, period, bro. R.I.P., man. Z, what up, though? What it do, Z? My boy Z Money. Hey, Coco, Z Money a day one. Yo, what up, D. Hodges? What up, though? How you doing, my brother, my brother, my brother? I'm good. I'm good, man. We live at the fights. D. Hodges, man, talk to me, man. I know you watching it. I'm going to pick Stubbs. I don't know who neither one is, and they both are American, and they both for the same color, so I'm just going to throw it out there and pick Stubbs. <laughs> Stubbs. I, I can't I can't go towards nobody because I, I don't know who's the black man. You know you know, you know know how I yeah. pick, so I, I'm just going to go it's with Stab. Stab. It's all good. Stubbs, so, I guess I'll go with Stubbs. <laughs> Z, day one, my boy Z in the chat, bro. Z, man, good to have you in a live stream. Thanks for stopping by. Man, I hope everybody in your family is safe. You know what I mean? It's all good, bro. You know, Lil B, man, save your money. H money, bro. I don't do this for uh, I don't do this for money. I do this for entertainment to entertain my people. You guys are my people. I don't, you know, I don't do it for super chats. You know what I mean? I just do it for out of the love. You know what I mean? Free of charge. All y'all got to do is hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASAP. Don't even wait. You know what I mean? First fight of the evening, we got Jones for show. Just showing love. Z, you already know. Jones versus Stubbs. Round number one. I'm going with Stubby. I got Stubbs, man. You know what I mean? Jab up stairs. You got Stubbs too, uh, Valix? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know none of these people, so. For sure, Stubbs with a big jab. Stubbs coming with a stiff jab. You know what I mean? Busting Jones up in his mouth. Busting his mouth open. Man, Jersey game on 1,000. You know what I mean? Yep. I got a different Jersey every day of the week. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Point blank, period. Big drip. Drip, drip, drip. Hey, let's go, bro. We out here. Live ice jack. Jones comes back with a jab. Jones come back. What up, big Scott in the building? Scott, hey, we out here. What up, though? You know what I mean? Jones versus Stubbs. Stubbs coming through with a one-two right down the pipe. And let me know if I'm breaking up, y'all. Make sure my audio straight. All right. For sure. So Jones with a one-two right down the pipe. And um, you know what I mean? Jones, it looks like Stubbs winning this one so far, bro. Basketball, JC in the building. Alex Salido. Alex Alcido. Alex Alcido tonight, bro. You know what I mean? I'm excited. Oh, Pedrazin on Thursday. We got Jose Pedrazin fighting up. on Thursday, bro. No, you know. I mean, no, what'd you say? It's kind of breaking up, Pimpin. You was, but never mind. Yeah, I might got it. Let me switch computers in real quick. Y'all talk to the people. Talk to each other. Yep, so Stab uh Stubbs got round one. I give I gave round one he he landed more cleaner punches. Uh Stubbs or whatever. I don't know he none got, of these people, so I had to pick. Stubbs. Yeah, I don't know I don't know neither, and they both are American, so I can't pick it's like just throw a name in the hat and just pick one. <laughs> but Stubbs look like he's good though. So we 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 all a good pick. I think yeah. Stubbs is gonna I think Stubbs is gonna do it. I think he's gonna win it. See, I didn't get a chance. See, I didn't get a chance to catch it because I just came from the L. See, I like to see the tail of the tape. Like for me to really pick a fighter, I gotta see the tail of the tape. I gotta Same. see the wreck. I gotta see the record. Like it's like I came in. The, they already did all that. It was already first round. So I just said, forget it. Just pick somebody. So yeah, we all got stubs then. Okay. Oh. It's boring so far, though. 
You said it's boring so far? And I said, no, for a small minute. No, because I'm like ahead of you, and it's like a long pause where nobody was throwing a punch. I think I'm a little bit ahead. I think I'm a little bit ahead of you. Cause it's like y'all still be talking about the round, and I be on commercial. I'm watching it on pure ESPN. I'm watching it on uh, crack screen. Yeah, so that's why I, that's why I'd be a little bit ahead of y'all, just a little bit, probably like 15 seconds, just a little. Yeah, but Stubbs got this one too. Stubbs is looking good so far. Jones ain't doing anything. He, he ain't even throwing. <laughs> no, I ain't seen him throw a punch he's yet. Not, he's not. That's what's making it easy for Stubbs. <laughs> he's not punching at all. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! We back, we right back, man. Shout out to everybody, though. You know what I mean? Live at the fights. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button ASAP. Stubbs winning this round. What you say? I tell you, I got a Stubbs winning, man. He ain't did anything. He ain't did nothing. <laughs> like Don't even do nothing. He just ducking and get knocked out. That's it. <laughs> Throw a punch, Jones, please. <laughs> that man looks scared. Jones looks scared. He's like he never boxed in his life, man. <laughs> Facts. We out here. Let's go, man. Shout out to Lil B, Lil Byron, Coco the Don, best in the business, H Money, Mr. The Zone. Let's go, bro. We live at the fights. Our right, stuff coming through with a wild one, too, and he just missed it, man. Round number two in this one. Stubbs with that high guard peekaboo defense. You know what I mean? Two prospects right here. You know what I mean? It's a solid fight. MXBC in the building. Shout out to the MXBC, LDBC, J4B movements. The general is here. Coco Tyler, the CEO of the MXBC, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Go check him out. Live debates. You know what I mean? On a regular entertainment you know what I mean? Conspiracy talk. You name it. You name it. We got it, bro. You know what I mean? LDBC, J4B, MXBC, bro. Gang, gang. You know what I mean? All of that. We live at the fights, though, bro. Alex Arcido, bro. Alex Arcido, bro. We in here, man. Making it do what it does, bro. Shout out to all the great champions. Shout out to all the great legendary champions in the sport of boxing, bro. The legends like Felix Trinidad, Roberto Duran, you know what I mean? Roberto Duran just test positive for the coronavirus. We hope he has a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? A legend in the sport of boxing. Roberto Duran, the first man to beat Sugar Ray Leonard, a champion in about, um, I believe, five different weight classes. Just a legend in the sport, four different weight classes. Roberto Duran was a champion at lightweight, you know what I mean? Well to weight. I mean, middleweight and 154. So I believe it was four different weight classes Roberto Duran was a champion in, man. So let me drop the link to Lil Byron. Man, let's get it in, bro. Live fight chat, bro. Fight party. You know how we do it, bro. On a regular. You know what I mean? Everything I do, bro, I do it big. You know what I mean? Oh, Stubbs with a big right hand by Stubbs. Let's go, Stubby. Stubby, go, go after him. Stubbs and Jones. You know what I mean? Two, two prospects. First fight of the evening, round number three in this six-round fight, bro. You know what I mean? To 168. Yeah, he went, he went all the way up to 168. I don't think he won a championship at 168, though. I think he won a championship. He beat Iran, Iran Barkley at 160 to become a middleweight champion. He beat Iran Barkley. You know what I mean? He did a lot of great things in the sport, man. We ain't got nothing but respect for Roberto Duran, and that's facts. You know what I mean? Coco won in the building. Gang, gang, what up, Coke? Coco, what up? I can't hear you. Coco the Don, talk to me. Hey, yo. It's your boy, Coco the Don. It's the CO. CO. You know what it is. What's going on, everybody? D. Hodges, Alex, H. Money, Mr. The Zone, the best in the business. 
Uh, you know what I mean? I just stepping in right now. Got a little bit late to the show. I apologize. Um, you know, I had to stop by and get me one of those uh big town business burritos. And uh, I'm regretting it right now a little bit. All right, what kind of burrito you got? A carne asada. Ooh. Oh, that's fire, bro. You know that's fire, bro. From Cali. Oh, man, that's that real deal. Holy field, bro. Oh, where are you go get it from? Like a, one of those trucks. Yeah. Spots. You want some restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, taco, a taco truck. Nah, a taco truck in the town. You know what I'm talking about? Fire. Yeah, yeah, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm coming in a little bit winded. You know what I'm talking about? So, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready. Who do we got right now? We got Jones, Jones and Stubbs. I'm going with Jones. All right, stepping in with Jones. Coco got Jones. I got Stubbs. D Hodges got Stubbs. And Valix got Stubbs. You're lone wolf. You're lone wolf. Oh, yeah, yeah let's ride. Stubbs. What's up, Lil B? Yo, what's up? What's up, Lil B? What's going on? Not much, bro. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Enjoying the fights, man. It's on ESPN. It's on a stream. That stream service where I showed y'all. Y'all know exactly where to go. You know what I mean? To go watch the fight. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know where it's at. You know what I mean? And the uh, man, tune in, man. You know what I mean? It's a big fight. We got two prospects right here. You know what I mean? Um, I want to uh, ask, I want to ask D. Hodges, who is your favorite fighter in the world in boxing? Give me about three of your favorite fighters. Give me your top three favorite, not the best, but your favorite. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm I know Bud Crawford's number one. Like I loved him forever, so Bud's always gonna be my number one. And then I would say Wilder would be number two because I love the strong black. Ah, number three is a, number three is a toss. But I know, um, but I know one and two is Buddy Wild. But I know those are like my two. Who's two your two thirds? Two. You got a third? Uh, uh who would be my third person? Hold on. Uh, um, mm. oh, ooh, whatever. He, ooh, he, ooh, he, whatever. The Chinese dude. Who's that? Uh, no, no way. No oh, way. In a way, in a way. Okay. You uh, like yeah. Him. Any, I, anyway, I, I, I like I, I, I like him. He's cool though. That's Let's my go. three. Coco, what about you? Give me your top three favorite fighters in boxing. Canelo, I know Canelo number one. I think Coco might be eating, you know what I mean? Get into that cardio soda. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know that we get, might as well eat it while it's hot, Coco. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I like all my drinks ice cold. I like every drink that I sip on to be ice cold. And I like all my um all my food to be sizzling hot, bro. Sizzling. You know what I mean? So uh for me, my favorite three, my three favorite fighters, just to be honest, number one is Devin. Devin Haney. Haney. Devin Haney, number one. Number two is uh Demetrius Andrade, and number three will be Usyk. Usyk is my third favorite fighter. You know what I mean? Wilder, he's he's more of a friend of mine. I don't look at Wilder like a uh, a fighter. I look at Wilder as a friend and as like a brother. So that's how I view Wilder. But my three favorites, Deme uh, Devin Haney, number one. Number two, Demetrius Andrade. Number three is Alexander Usyk. You know what I mean? But, yeah. What about you, Byron? Who your favorite fighter right now? Devin Haney, Deontay Wilder, and um, oh crap, I forgot him. Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn, for sure, man. Shout out to Australia. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jeff Horn, y'all remember he beat Manny Pacquiao. You know what I mean? So, Valix, who your three favorite, bro? You should already know two of them, man. Is oh, yeah, Devin Joshua Haney, Franco. Haney? Joshua Franco. Who else? All right, you said I said Haney. You said Franco and um. That uh, you remember that uh, the dude that got the hair like six nine, that guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're talking about mm -hmm. old Melly. He fights in the UFC though. That six nine type of hair, that's UFC. But yeah, I feel you. I feel you, Sean O'Melly. Sugar, sugar. What's his name? Shane O'Melly. Sugar Shane O'Melly, bro. But yeah, man, we live at the fights. He said it's Charlo ducking. Oh my boy, Chain TC says Canelo in a way. 
Spence. Oh, yeah, that's a nice list. Canelo, number one. In a way, number two. Number three, Earl Spence. That's a solid, that's a solid uh list. Shout out to Earl Spence. He's a beast too. You know what I mean? I might as well put Earl Spence in my list. Earl Spence is a beast. Chain TC says, is Charlo ducking Demetrius Andrade? Yes, I think so. I, I think so. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. For me, my opinion, yes, he's ducking Demetrius Andrade. And I ain't going to even deny it. Facts, bro. No order. Yeah, man. I like Spence too, bro. I like I like Usyk, bro. I just like the way he fights with that uh, foot movement, hand speed. He didn't, you know, he's a heavyweight. Alex Saucedo, Alex Saucedo, 29 wins, 19 knockouts, headline in the main event against Sonny Fredrickson. It's going to be epic, man. You know what I mean? This how we doing it on this side, man, live. Fight night, bro. It's fight night. Let's go. You know what I mean? Hey, so, uh, Lil B, how you been feeling, Lil BZ? Not much. I've been good. That's good, man. How's, how's school been? It's the holidays, but, yeah, it's been actually pretty good. Got back, a lot of good back. friends at school. That's good, bro. Be careful out there. You know what I mean? How your family, how uh, your daddy doing? Yeah, they're doing actually good. You good? Tell, tell your daddy I said what's up. Yeah, I can call him right now if you want. Yeah, you can you can hit him up. Let me say what's up oh. to him. If if he's not busy, if he's busy, you know what I mean. I can talk to him later. Oh yeah, I'll go. I'll go bring him. It won't be long. For sure, for sure. Hit the like button. Round number five: Stubbs versus Jones. Stubby, let's go, bro. Live fight night, man. Hit that like button, bro, with a jab. Hit it with an uppercut, man. Whatever your fra favorite punch is, a right hand, left hook, uppercut. You know me, I like to throw my right hand. You know what I mean? I'm a right hand type of fighter, bro. You know, I, I like to throw combinations. Me, when I fight, man, I like to throw, you know what I mean, a lot of punches, a lot of hand speed. I like to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow with you. You know what I mean? And I like to slug it out. That's the type of fighter that I am. You know what I mean? I like to throw my hands. You know what I mean? I got a lot of hand speed, bro. And it's hard for people to keep up with my hand speed. You know what I mean? I, I knocked a couple people out. Um, I bust a couple noses. You know what I mean? Knocked a couple teeth. I knocked some teeth out in my life. You know what I mean? Bust some lips. Bust bust your mouth wide open, bro. You know what I mean? And this is how we doing it on this side, bro. It's the money team, bro. You know what I mean? J4B, LDBC, MXBC. We running these live streams. Shout out to JFL Heads, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to DSFG38 and no. You dig what I'm saying? We out here Yo, doing it. Hey. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Guess who I've got for you. Should be coming. You you real low. What you say? Oh, uh, my dad should be coming soon. Okay, yeah, you're kind of low though. I can barely hear you. Oh, sorry. It's just good, it's good. You good, you good. D Hodges, what up though? Yeah, I don't know. I like my internet lost connection or whatever. It's all good. You good, man. You right back like you never left. Um, Jones versus Stubbs, round number five, man. It's a very close fight. I got Stubbs winning. You know what I mean? I got Stubbs winning by one round right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yep. I got the same. I got the same. Well, yeah, Jones ain't no joke either, though. Jones, he, he using his footwork. And right now, Jones is using that ring general shit. Big left hook by Jones upstairs. Hit him with a counter left hook. Cracked him with it. Bam. You know what I mean? I want to see Stubbs be active out here. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, man, it's good that we watch all these fights so we can find a new talent in the sport of boxing. You never know who can be that next great champion. You, We never know who can be that next Manny Pacquiao who comes out of nowhere and become a champion. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm searching. I'm searching, bro. Shout out to all the young talent in the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? Like Gabriel Flores Jr. Um, you know what I mean? Shout outs to fighters like Hector Tanajara fighting out of RGBA. You know what I mean? Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. Shout outs to, um, you know what I mean? All the great young fighters, man. Shout outs to Mario Barrios. You know what I mean? Out of San Antonio, Texas. Mario Barrios. You know what I mean? 
He's a, at 140 pounds. He reminds me of a young American type of fighter. You know what I mean? American, I felt like, was really underappreciated in the sport of boxing. American had some big wins over Zab Judah, Paula Malinaji, Devin Alexander, Marcos Maidana. You know what I mean? American has some uh, has some notable victories, bro. Sure, he got knocked out a couple of times. Sure, he got knocked out by Canelo, you know, uh, by Prescott. He got knocked out by Danny Garcia. And shout out to Danny Garcia as well. You know what I mean? A very talented fighter. You know what I mean? And Danny Garcia has been a champion, you know, more than more than one time. He's a Danny Garcia, a former unified champion at 140 pounds. Danny Garcia, I remember when he beat Lucas Matisse, and Lucas Matisse was considered the, a boogeyman at the time. And Danny Garcia, he beat Lucas Matisse. He dropped him. You know what I mean? He had his eye all, all the way swollen shut. And Danny Garcia, you know what I mean? Is you know what I mean? A very good fighter, man. And he he's still an elite fighter. You know what I mean? Shout out to fighters like Earl Spence Jr. You know what I mean? Bouncing back. You know what I mean? After that serious car wreck. And Earl Spence Jr. is now back on the right path. You know what I mean? He's um rededicated himself to the sport of boxing. OJ3. Shout out to OJ3, JC. You already know. Otha Jones the third, bro. Shout out to Otha Jones the third. You know what I mean? The next Meldrick Taylor. You know what I mean? The guy, very talented, plenty of speed, plenty of power. You know what I mean? Future world champion in the sport of boxing out of Toledo, Ohio. And shout out to his sister, O'Shea Jones, who's a beast. O'Shea Jones, I think she's going to be the next great women's fighter. I think o O'Shea Jones is possibly the only woman that can beat Clarissa Shields, bro. I think O'Shea Jones is the, she will be the one to beat Clarissa Shields, bro. She's going to be the one to beat Clarissa Shields, bro. So shout out to O'Shea Jones, you know what I mean? Out of that Soul City boxing, out of Soul City boxing, bro. Ain't nothing but love for Soul City. Appreciate the interview from Soul City boxing. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can get them back on a live stream with us. Man, shout out to Roche Jones, the older brother of O'Shea Jones and um Otha Jones the third, bro, the trainer. And shout out to Big O, the father. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing but love for everybody, bro. Ain't nothing but love for, for Soul City Boxing. You know what I mean? Who gave me my first interview. You know what I mean? Appreciate the love and support. Definitely. Toledo, Ohio. You know, Ohio, bro, they, some people say Ohio runs boxing. You know, fighters like Aaron Pryor, Adrian Broner. You have fighters like Robert Easter Jr., um, you know, from Ohio, Sean Porter. Shout out to Charles Conwell, too. Bad news. You know, Charles Conwell, who's also a very good fighter, you know what I mean, out of Soul City. You know what I mean? I, I think he's a future champion at the 154-pound division. Charles Bad, Bad News Conwell. And shout out to all my peoples, well, all the YouTubers that I'm collaborating with, man. Kana Loco Sports from Puerto Rico. Shout out to Kana Loco Sports. Shout out to um, Reggie Owens. World And shout out to World Combat Sports. Shout out to Coco Tyler in the MXBC. Shout out to um, Young God in the MXBC, of course. Shout out to, you know, JFL Heads, DSFG 38 and 0. You know what I mean? Shout out to to El Jefe, you know what I mean? The El Jefe experience. Oh, yeah, man, we doing big things, man. Shout out, shout out to Barbershop Conversations, of course. You know, everybody that keep it thorough with me. You know what I mean? Shout out to my panel, of course. Coco to Don. Shout out to uh, D. Hodges. Little B. Shout out to Valix. Everybody in the chat. Chain TC. What's up, bro? My dad's here. Yo, what's up, Big B? Hey, how are you, mate? I'm good. I'm good. How's everything? Uh, yeah, good, but not so great at the same time. That's good. That's good. You know, we're we're watching boxing, and uh, about a week ago, we had uh, two Australian fighters. They came to America and they fought. They uh, one one brother name was Andrew Maloney, and the other brother was Jason Maloney. They're twins. And they're from Australia. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but they they were fighting in America. Who won that one? Well, um, 
I believe Andrew Maloney lost. He was the champion. He lost his belt, but his brother Jason Maloney won. So oh, one brother God. lost and one brother won. Oh. And then their other brother, James Maloney, he plays for the NRL in Australia. What was that, Byron? Oh, there's this guy named James Maloney. I think he's related to Andrew and Jason. Yeah, James Maloney plays for the Sydney Roosters in the NRL. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. And uh, Big B, man, you know, I appreciate your son. He's he's a good kid. And, uh, man, we, we just tell him to do right. And I hope, you know what I mean? He's uh he's been uh, being good, and I hope he hasn't been uh giving you any problems. No, his schooling's actually the school's absolutely been fantastic towards him the last couple of weeks. He's actually knuckled down and, and started doing his schoolwork, so now he's been re doing really good. And I passed my math exam. That's good. That's good, man. That's the most important, you know. One, get the fuck out of here. Excuse my language. Yeah, that's the most important, you know. Um. You know what I mean? Uh, education and, uh, man, your basketball. I know you, you still play basketball. And, uh, you know what I mean? And, like I said, I'm always going to be here. So, man, I appreciate you supporting. And, uh, man, you know, I'm a big fan of basketball, boxing, um, UFC, even, um, you know, NFL football, soccer ball, football like soccer ball, and uh, all sports. I'm into sports and entertainment. And, um, Big B, man, I remember it was a great fighter from Australia by the name of Costa Zoo. I don't know if you remember Costa Zoo. Oh, yeah, I have heard Costa Zoo, yes. He was a great fighter. Yeah, apparently he was back in his time, yeah. Yes, yes. They used to call him the Thunder from Down Under. Ah, uh, uh, that's where the term, the Thunder from Down Under, yeah. Yep. For sure, for sure. So... Right now, all we're doing is we're watching some fights, and uh, we're just enjoying the day, and I appreciate the time. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah, no worries, mate. You're a legend anyway, so that's all good. For sure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day, mate. Okay. Shout out to Justin Trouble in the chat. Justin Trouble says, hashtag J4B, justice for boxing, bro. J4B, it stands for justice for boxing. If you guys don't know, Justin Trouble says, salute H Money, the Go Coco one, the great, and the whole panel. Facts, man. And yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to everybody in the chat that always been down with the team and always been supporting me. You know what I mean? Of course, you know what I mean? Justin Trouble, you know what I mean? Shout out to Justin Trouble, JT. Shout out to JC the Don. JC the Don, man, my brother from South Central LA. You know what I mean? Appreciate the support, JC, from day one, bro. You know what I mean? You know I love you, bro. H Money love you, bro. You know what I mean? Shout out to Chain TC. Showing love, man. You know what I mean? Appreciate it, Chain TC, man. You know what I mean? I enjoy having you in the chat. Thank you for coming through. You know what I mean? And welcome to the family. Shout out to, uh, you know what I mean? Little Byron, of course, on the panel. Shout out to Coco Tyler in the MXBC. You know what I mean? Shout out to the Mexican boxing community. The MXBC, bro, doing big things, man. You know what I mean? Go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. You know what I mean? Go check him out. You know what I mean? Very entertaining. Like I said, man, he got that new sauce. Coco Tyler got that new sauce, bro. He dripping hard on you. You know what I mean? Big drip. You know what I mean? He got a whole new flavor. You know what I mean? Shout out to Coco Tyler and YG, young God. Shout out to Mind Taker, you know what I mean, from the J4B movement. Shout out to Mind Taker, bro. We out here, man. We making it do what it does. Hit the like button ASAP. Yo, Coco, you back, Coco? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm ready to um, I'm ready to do a quick breakdown of the last fight. Um, I was only able to catch the last three rounds, uh, so my um, maybe my um, maybe my judge, my judgment might be a little bit off on who I thought won. I thought Judge, I thought uh, Jones won. Uh, you know, he was faster at the exchanges. He had the better of the exchanges. He controlled the pace. He had more effective punches, and uh, he controlled his opponent with uh, his ring generalship uh, more time, more often than not. And uh, you know, it was a it was a fifty fifty fight at some at, at certain points from what I saw. But I don't know. Uh, have they given the result yet? 
Another, oh, and another thing, uh, another thing I want to mention before, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jones also won. Uh, he threw more punches than than Stubbs. He threw two hundred and forty one to two hundred and eighteen, and he landed fifty three punches compared to um, forty four by Stubbs. And Jones also had the higher percentage, and he landed uh, twenty two percent of his punches compared to uh, twenty. And he had seventeen body shots to seven body shots. So. I think Jones should get the decision, but I don't know. I missed the, I missed who won that fight. Can you tell me? Can anybody fill me in? Facts, facts. So, uh, Coco uh, Stubbs won that fight. I don't know. I'm trying to see because I didn't. You know, who I just saw the fight? fight, but then D Hodges. I got. I'm not sure, bro. I don't even know. Cause I stepped, I had a, I had to step away for a little bit, and then I, I, I missed the, um, and, Sada, and, man. and I missed the results. Jones won Ace Money. Oh, thank you, thank you, Alex. Yeah, Jones so won. Then I was yeah. right. Jones won. Yeah, Jones won. Yeah, Jones. all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, no all right, problem. cool. Cause I missed, I missed the, uh, I missed that. Thank you, I appreciate that. So I, I did get that one right. All right, so that's one on the one in the books. No, you didn't. You we all books. picked this. We all nah, picked Stubbs. Stubbs. You can't. Mm, okay. Yeah, we all we 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 all picked Stubbs. There was Coco we all picked Stubbs. You picked Jones. Coco did pick Jones. I could have saw you pick Stubbs. I could have saw the whole panel was on Stubbs because we. That was me. That was me. Oh, sorry. Okay, you got that, baby. My fault. I apologize. <laughs> I'm about to say he picked right, Jones. Coco. Coco on the winning track. Coco went leading the way. Coco, man. All right, who y'all got? Larry Fries or uh, Le Larry Fryers? He from Ireland. I'm going with the other dude, bro. I ain't going with no Irish dude, bro. Go I got with Fryers. I got a... I'm, I'm going with I'm going with Bo Bosa. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Irish dude, just for my great grandfather. You know what I'm saying? And great grandpa. I got the great grand great grandpa's Irish, so I kind of. You know what I mean? I kind of got Irish in me, so I got to go for the Irish guy. Yo, shout out to Smart Money in the chat. Shout out to the realest in the UK, the realest from the UK, Smart Money. Shout out to, you know what I mean, New Money. You know what I mean? The whole gang, bro, the money gang, bro. You already know, Smart Money, appreciate it, bro. I love you, bro. 100. Sills. I got a boy for you, man. Sills, my boy, man. Shout out to, to Strapped Up Sammy as well, man. Fresh BX, man, the whole squadron. And Rob87, you know what I mean? Let's go, bro. Day ones. We out here. So, and shout out to so Z, who does, man, boy Z. So, so who does everybody have so we don't have any mix-up? I, I went with Bousa. I got, I got, I got the Irish guy. I got Hold the on, Irish one guy. One at a time, one at a time. The Irish One at a time. All right, I got Bosa. All right, so, okay, me and H, Bosa. And then we I got, got uh, D okay, all right. So that's three of us. And then you guys got um, Friars. All right, cool. All right, bet. Come on, Boza. Let's go, Boza. Oh, hey, they going at it, Coco. They're getting kind of physical out there. Friars is very aggressive, especially when they clinch. He doesn't stop punching. Hell, yeah. Let's go, Boza. He's a southpaw, too, out of Puerto Rico. We know about great Puerto Rican fighters. You know what I mean? Jose Torres, fighters like Felix Trinidad, Danny Garcia, Wilfredo Gomez. You know what I mean? We got great fighters. Xander Zayas, Edgar Berlanga, Miguel Cotos. You know what I mean? Hector Camacho. Let's go Puerto Rico. The list goes on and on. Yeah, you're right. Smash the like button. Let's go, bro. You know what I mean? And the referee... Tony Minks, I Tony mean, Meeks. Tony Winks, the great referee Tony Winks, who refereed that first fight between Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana. He's a legendary referee, and Tony Winks is also a judge in the UFC. He's a judge in the UFC, he judged the fight, and he's a referee in boxing. So, you know, he, he does all combat sports, man. You know what I mean? We out here making it do what it does, live at the fights. With the panel, with the gang, with the with the MOB. You know what I mean? We the mob, bruh. We out here, you heard? 
Jab to the body by Boza. Boza. Oh, left hook, Boza. Boza. And uh, Friars comes back with a jab. Boza hits him with a jab. Boza jabbing his face off right now, yo. I got I got Friars that round. 10-9. I thought Friars yeah, was a little I, bit yeah, more aggressive. I do, too. I agree with you. I agree. I got Boza winning that round, bro. I thought Boza was jabbing his face off. No, I thought... I thought Fires did more. He pushed the pace. He was he was he was making Boza uncomfortable. Wasn't letting him set up. And Boza was missing with that counter um with that counter uh uh left hand. Facts. Hit the like button. Let's go, bro. We live at the fights. Coco to Don, the co-host of the year, D Hodges, Lil B, Valix. You know what I mean? Let's go, man. You know what I mean? Live in effect, bro. I can't wait, man, for these big fights and breaking news. The zone boxing has returned. You know me, I am Mr. The Zone. So we got the zone coming back. Virgil Ortiz is fighting. Um, Hector Tanajara will be fighting. And also the great champion, Julio Cesar Martinez, bro, coming up, man. You know what I mean? So I'm excited. Eddie Hearn got the um, he got the fights going on in the UK with the fight camp. I believe Pavekin. It's going to be P Pavekin coming up versus Dylan White. We got another fight, uh, Ted Cheeseman from the UK. You know, them UK fighters, they're going to be getting it in. You know what I mean? I'm excited, bro. You know what I'm saying? Is that the Don himself? It is the Don. Fresh BX, the Don in the building. He says, if Fresh BX won't tell you the truth, who will? He says, free Putasis 916. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Fresh BX, I ain't going to lie. I seen, him in, I seen him in the comment section one day, bro. I seen him in Ellie Setback's comment section, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he's still he's still, he's still, still doing his thing, bro. You know what I mean? I think he rocking out with, like, with BDA Boxing, one of those, those, um, those lame channels. I think he might be rocking with the other side. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Butas is 916, bro. Yeah, I seen him in the Ellie setback comments, BX. Hey, BX, I caught you yesterday in Demetrius Andrade's channel, bro. I caught you yesterday on Demetrius Andrade's uh his comment section, bro. You know me, hey, me and you be right there, bro. You know, we know what they say. Great minds think alike. You know what I'm saying? He said BS rankings. Hey, fresh BX. He said BS rank. Uh, I guess he he must be taking the shot at top rank. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, Fresh BX, you know what they say? Great minds think alike. And you heard what I said a while ago. Fresh BX, you a genius. <laughs> hey, Coco, you remember when I said that? Oh, uh, yeah, man. You know, I go on vacation. Next thing I know, I hear a video. H1, he says, Fresh BX, you a damn genius. <laughs> hey, that was funny. I forgot I even said that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Hit the like button. Make it do what it does, man. Gang, gang. Let's go, man. Shout out to the Don BX, bro. You know what I mean? Or, or should I call him Chef BX? Hey, oh, God, BX. I seen him. I swear it. Look, I seen Putasis 916. Hey, I caught him on an LE setback, like the comment section. Oh, God, bro. I seen him. I was like, what? And I, I had responded to his comment, like, I had. Left him a comment. I'm like, bro, what's up? You've been ducking. You know what I mean? He ain't responded. I ain't heard from him ever since. But yeah, I seen him. You know what I mean? I seen him in the comment section on God, bro. No cap. No cap, bro. For real. You know what I mean? All right. I got I got uh I got I got Boza that round. He was a, he he handled the pressure a lot better and it seemed like he was able to keep fires off and keeping them at bay. And he's starting to he's starting to pick up on his boxing on him. Let's go, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, fresh BX. You know what they say? The sun never shines in the ghetto. It always rains in the hood. Heavy metal rains in the ghetto. Everybody move cane in my hood. You know what I mean? You don't know nothing about that BX. Oh, real big baby coming back soon. Please say Jared Anderson coming back soon, bro. July 7th, 
Jose Zubeda. Jose Zubeda fighting. I put my dang real big baby fighting too. Jose Zubeda fighting. Carlos Takim. Dang Carlos Takim. Jerry Forrest. Oh, they got big fights. Oh, Jared Anderson. The next Riddick Bow is back. The next Riddick Bow, homie. Oh, yeah, bro. Can't wait to watch. They need to put him on the main event, bro. You got to really build them. You got to start putting him on the main event. The next Riddick Bow is coming back. Bo's, a, Bo's, a, Bo's a starting to catch him, bro. Bo's is starting to catch him. For sure, for sure. Coco, I think you ahead of me. You want to do the commentary? Or if you want to, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. I want to do my Larry Merchant. All right, fire. I want to. I want to do my. Yeah, I want to do my my thing. I I got I got I'm the side. I, I got my job. You know, I know my place. Hey, Fresh BX said I said I was gonna pay. He said H Money said he was gonna play the clip with no pauses. What happened? Come on, BX. I did. I did play it, bro. Everybody heard it, bro. I didn't say I anything. heard it. I heard it, man. It's clear. It's good. Come Moving on, on, bro. It was comedy, bro. I thought it was funny. I didn't lie. That was funny, bro. You know? I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> hey, I, hey, man, I'm a comedian, bro. Yeah, that joint it was says, funny, though. I can't it, even cap. It, it, it said, uh, hey, uh, he said, uh, yo, Fresh BX, you a damn genius. <laughs> like, that was serious. Hey, that was, hey, that was funny, though. I can't even cap, bro. That was, that was comedy, bro. Let's go, BX. Come on, bro. Ain't no ducking. You don't want to duck me. When I asked you about Sugar Ray Leonard ducking Aaron Pryor, you had nothing to say. All right, Fresh BX. So, hey, explain to me Sugar Ray Leonard ducking Aaron Pryor. And I played you the footage. Could you explain that? Explain that is. Explain that is BX. You know what I mean? This is comment. He said, You said he was going to play the clip at Coco One with no pauses. What happened? Coco just said I played it, bro. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah, first, I heard it. Stop ducking. Fresh I BX, heard the whole clip. I played the whole clip, bro. You know what I mean? Fresh BX says, Next time you see him, you got to, um, he said, You got to let me know. I don't believe it. On God. On God, BX. On God, I've seen him. I can't even, bro, no cap. It surprised me when I seen him. It said Putas is 916. It was really him, dog. It was the real him. <laughs> how, like, could there, how could there be another one? How could there be another Putas? Because I seen another dude named Putas in the chat, but it nah. was six. It was somebody that said Putas like something else. So I was like, oh, that ain't him. But when I seen Putas's 916, I was like, that's really him, bro. You know what I mean? That was him for sure. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened to him, man. He'd start rocking with the other side. You know, that's how it goes. You know what I mean? Let's go, bro. We've been here for a while now, bro. It hasn't even been a full year. It hasn't even been a full year since I've been making YouTube videos and doing YouTube. You know what I mean? Hey, I noticed. Uh, H, I, I noticed H Money. You're um, you're like at six hundred thousand views already. Yeah, I looked at it today. It's almost at six hundred thousand, bro. And that's less than a year. That's, that's funny that I. It's funny that I looked at it today too. Facts. Yeah, I be I be checking out the stats. You know what I mean? You know, I always go by views. You know what I'm saying? I go by views, bro. And I'm on a different level, bro. And it's not even been a year. The first video I dropped, my first live stream was about, I think, like, eight months ago, seven to eight months ago. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, we it's not even a year yet, bro. And we, we murking the game, bro. Just murking the game, bro. Just like that, bro. You know what I mean? Bro, I want to know I want to know how D. Hodges has this fight going right now. I think he's going to be Irish, Irish guy losing. Okay. I told you, bro. Don't go against me, bro. I'm not getting no fights wrong. I'm not. I, I got the first. Who won? Jones or Stubbs? That first fight. Jones. Damn, bro. They robbed me. <laughs> they robbed me, bro. Sills in the yeah, building. Yeah, but Jones. Jones. I I called out the stats for you though. H. It was uh, 
it was clearly won by uh, by Jones. And from what I saw, I caught that fight from the from the third, and I and I saw Jones, you know. And that's crazy. They really gave it to Jones. He was boxing though. He was like with that movement. I see this Irish dude keeps coming forward, but he coming forward. He he ain't doing nothing. You coming forward, <laughs> and he's feather fisted like crazy. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, why did why does Fresh Rex Fresh Rex doesn't believe that I heard the whole clip though? That's that's crazy to me. I heard the whole clip. We played the whole clip. We played the whole clip from from whatever uh, time stamp you put. We heard it from that point. We heard everything. Hey, we heard everything fresh. That's crazy, bro. I can't believe they're really going to bring the NBA back. And this coronavirus stuff is getting crazy. That coronavirus is getting crazy. They said... Uh, hey, but... Hey, but how do you feel about the, uh, you know, like the, the NBA players having to try to stay in that bubble? You know, it's going to be hard for the, you know, that, you know, it's, that's going to be hard to do. Stay in the bubble. What does that mean? You know, they can't leave. Can't leave what? The hotel rooms and, you know, they're not going to be like out there hitting the, you know, hitting the town or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They got to go play their basketball games and then go back into their little bubble so they don't get the Rona. You know what I'm talking about? Man, all you got to do is get you a couple of freaks in a man, hotel room with you. Get you some some freaky, at, you know what I mean? Some freaky girls up in their room with you. You know what I mean? And uh, pretty much, man, uh, man, and that's about it, bro. Get you some freaks in there with you. Man, get you some trees. Get you some trees in the room. And you're going to be good, bro. Hey, H, you know, um, it's going to be tough, you know, because they, um, you know, they're going to have, they have to get tested and, you know, like it's going to be, you're going to see a lot of players from the D league coming up. You, you're going to see a lot, a lot of players from the NBA that you think are going to show up, aren't going to show up, you know, because, you know, a lot of them, you know, you know, they're scared to, uh, to commit for like a, a certain amount of time where they're. They're going to try to bring in their families, but it's going to be a mess. You'll see. It's going to be a messy situation out there. Messy, messy, messy. For sure. Hey, Smart Money said some freaky, some freaky hoes, man. You know what I mean? Get you some <laughs> freaks in there, in, there, in there with you, bro. And you be straight, bro. You know what I mean? Get you a big old booty in a room with you, bro. You be good. You know what I mean? You be straight, bro. Fresh BX said HFing with them high points wasn't. No whole clip. Bro, the whole thing. Somebody dropped off. Who's that? Valix. Okay. He said, if it ain't no big fights by March two, 2021, boxing going to die. How is going to be big fights, Fresh BX? Well, you got you can have some big name fighters like a Ryan Garcia fight, a Devin Haney fight, but the big, big fights like AJ versus, you know what I mean? AJ versus uh, Usyk or Wilder versus Fury, ain't none of that going to be happening. Wilder versus Fury, all those fights ain't going to be happening, bro. And now with this Rona, man, they said 100,000 people, bro. Uh, man, they said 100,000 people finna be catching a Rona a day. A day. 100,000 people, bro. A day going to get the Corona, bro. Stay indoors, H Money. Oh, I advise, yeah. if, you don't, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. Yeah, you know, yeah. people indoors for sure. People, sure. you know, people, people taking it for granted and and acting like everything's normal and and throwing on the mask and on and off and you know, they're they forgot they forgot about their social distancing. They forgot about a lot of the you know a lot of the guidelines that you're supposed to be following around this situation during a pandemic. Yeah, the people, yeah, but, people, yeah, I'm people talking about partying. People was in the bars. They was sure in the bars partying. And like, man, they couldn't wait to party. Couldn't wait to, you know, do, you know what I mean? Couldn't wait to go start doing stuff, bro. And then that, that's how it started getting heated up, man. Now people oh, start getting sick. Listen, listen, it's, now, impossible to, it's impossible to stay in the house. You have to go to the store for something. I have to go to the store every day because I got to go to the liquor store. But I make sure I got my mask and I give people their six feet of distance. There's yeah, no but way that's you. Can, there's no that's way you, you just, D. Hodges. You gotta go yeah, outside. That's you. You have to. No, nah, but that's store. you. That's you. You're. 
Look, D. Hodges, you're the one being respectful. You're the one following the the, yeah, the situation how it's supposed to be handled. Let him finish what he's saying. Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, Coco. Finish and let D go. No. Say what you got to say. Yeah, okay. No, but I, 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 I'm talking about the people that, you know, they just, you know, throwing on the mask like halfway, like their nose is sticking out. You know, I'm talking about the people that aren't wearing their mask. I'm talking about the people that are, are going to see their friends and, and, you know, going to like, you know, like, you ain't, you know, you're supposed to keep your, your six feet, even with your friends. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. And with your little mask on, you're, you're supposed to like, you know, you ain't supposed to be out there like hanging out. But as long as you got your mask, you're pretty much cool though. Yeah, pretty man, much. That's know, the, that's the I'm most. Not, that's, no chance I'm saying. Bro. No, I know that, but that's like the most important thing is the mask because what that about mask, the, the mask holds in the coughs. What that's about the what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm fine. I, I can't. I don't, I'm. I'm just fine. I just make sure I wear a mask so I don't breathe in nobody's bad air. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wear the mask because. You know what I mean? If I do sneeze, I'm not passing it. It's still in my mask. So that's yeah. But you already you you already beat the Rona one time, so you already you you already immune. And you gotta pay three. You gotta pay a three hundred dollar fine up here if they want to. It's a three hundred dollar fine if they catch you walking without a mask. And Dang. You, gotta, you can't go in a bank with a, without a mask. You can't go in a store without a mask. You can't do nothing up here in, in Boston. If you ain't got no mask, you might as well just not go in no store. Okay? Yo, they're not playing. Well, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, it's the same out here in California, uh, D. You know, I'm talking oh, about over here, you got to have your y'all mask. Y'all way bigger. Y'all got way more people. Y'all way bigger. Massachusetts is little. California is way bigger. You're you're in a way bigger state. <laughs> Yo, hit the like button. Um, my boy Mind Taker says at Fresh BX H Money, Mister the Zone. We got a solid scrap with Lenares and Fortuna. Yeah, that is a solid fight. Yo, the Zone fighters be better, bro. You know, ESPN fights been a whole lot of bums. Hey, we got we got some background noise. Yeah, that's D Hodges. Oh, my fault. You know, D always got that TV up. You know what I mean? <laughs> D Hodges is the best. Yeah, man, love, man. We love D Hodges. But yeah, the thing is this the zone, if you put on Fortuna, bro, the zone putting on Fortuna versus Lenares, bro, that's a good fight. ESPN been putting on, you know what I mean? Good fighters against bums. All the ES, Shakur Stevenson fought a bum. That was the first fight back. You know what I mean? Burchett fought a bum. You know what I mean? A lot of. A lot of good fighters fighting bums on ESPN, bro. That's just how it's been. But hey, we're gonna take what we can. I'm gonna take it. I just I love boxing. But yeah, man. Next is the co-main event. Yo, this car about to be over quick. This car finna be over quick. Fresh BX, he said Luis Ortiz. And he said, well, let me see what Fresh BX said. Fresh BX said, Mind Taker, they shouldn't have put that on the Ortiz. On the he's talking about no Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz, you know Virgil, bro, Mexican superstar, 13, no, 15 wins, 15 knockouts, Virgil Ortiz, the next Fernando Vargas, bro, Virgil Ortiz is the next Fernando Vargas, and guess what, Robert Garcia, he even said that, Robert, Robert Garcia, he trained, he trained Fernando Vargas, Robert Garcia is training Virgil Ortiz, and he even said it, Virgil Ortiz reminds him of Fernando Vargas, so guess what, bro? All my comparisons, they getting stamped and confirmed by trainers and fighters, bro. You know what I mean? Even, um, you know what I mean? Rose, Roshan Jones, he confirmed that OJ3, Otha Jones the third is the next Meldrick Taylor. Confirmed it. He said he's seen Meldrick Taylor and his brother, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Fresh BX told my taker, Virgil Ortiz. I got the juice like Ortiz. I got the juice hey. like Ortiz, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. King Miss. Hey, hey, uh, what up, King hey, Miss? Hey, H. What up with it? Hey, H. Money, I don't know if uh, I still think uh, Boza's winning the fight, but he, uh, it doesn't seem like he has the, the power to uh, to get this guy out of there. No, he ain't got uh, no fire. power. He got about, I think he had 13 wins with five knockouts, so he's, he's pretty feather-fisted. Because he should have got, got fires out of there already. And Fires is, is definitely not afraid of his power. He keeps on coming in. And, and, and Boza, like, is really coming in with his haymakers 
and can't get him out of there. Hey, Coco, Fresh BX looks like I know who Fresh BX looks like. Fresh BX, you look like Stefan Fulton. You did so Rashi Warren looking at his I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fresh BX, you look like Stefan Fulton with a crossbreed. You hey Fresh BX looks like a crossbreed of Stefan Fulton and Rashi Warren. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> we out here, bro. Well, yeah, Coco, uh, Boza is winning, but he's feather fisted for sure. Yep, I agree. For sure. He's, for not, sure. Doing it. he's not doing Irish enough. I lost. He lost. Well. I told you, bro. I'm, listen, I'm one and one. Well, the fight ain't over yet. He, he still got a chance because it's still, you got about a round. We got one round left. Fresh BX, you look like Stefan Fulton, bro. You know what I mean? With the duck tail. You got that ponytail in the back, like Stefan Fulton, bro. Got that duck tail. Braid it up. You got a braid it up duck tail. Sills, my boy Sills in the building. He says, Boza is not doing enough. Should step it up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He got to step it up. Try to get that dude up out of there, huh? Try to get that Irish bum out of there, right? You know what I mean? Facts. Hey, look, I was going to tell you. Hey, D. Hodges, you know, for the future, never go for Irish, bro. No Irish can fight, bro. You know what I mean? Dennis Hogan's. You got people like Conor McGregor's. Those dudes can't fight, bro. You know what I mean? Don't Max. don't go for Irish, bro. Trust me. You know you gotta make the show interesting. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, bro. I ain't taking no L's, man. You can make it interesting all you want and take all the L's while I get these wins. Fire's trying to get make it nice and dirty in there. Hey, Fresh BX said, you saying Chris Colbert in, in chat chat side comments. For real, he, man, you know, bro, I'm I'm still blocked from Champ Side. He was in there today. When was it? Today, Fresh BX? When was it today or when was it, bro? Dang, bro. I gotta get an interview with Chris Colbert, bro. Damn, man, them PBC fighters be acting like they too good to do an interview with me, dog. You know what I mean? They be they be acting like they too big, the PBC fighters, to do an interview with your boy, bro. I got to go to my disowned peoples, bro. They they rocking with me. Otha Jones the third, bro. Dang, on, H, bro. I can't, hey, H, I, I can't believe what, what I'm hearing. Are you saying that you're on the wrong side of the street? Nah, nah, I ain't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said Instagram. Oh, in the comments for real. I'm about to dang, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually I'm following uh champ side on Instagram. Yeah, man. So it, it is what it is. Hit the like button, bro. <clears throat> 17 people in the chat. Hit the like button, bro. Let's get those likes up. Let's go, Alex Saucedo. Alex Saucedo, Mexican star. Let's go. Viva Mexico. He said Instagram. IBX, we in there. He said Irish people fought against American, you know, tyranny because we Catholic. You know what I mean? Irish people fought against American tyranny because we Catholic. <clears throat> Expose them. What up, though, Julio? What up, though, Julio? What's good? Appreciate everybody. Smash that like button, man. Shout out to the Mexican boxing community, the MXBC. The J4B, Justice for Boxing, and shout out to the LDBC, bro. We out here, man. You know what I mean? United we stand, bro. You know what I mean? We, United we stand. Let's go, bro. Live boxing chats. We taking it to the next level. And this this uh, Thursday, we got um Jose Pedrazin fighting, former world champion. You guys might know Pedrazin for his fights against Lomachenko and against Javante Davis. So, yeah, man, hit the like button. Let's go, man. Live fight chats, bro. You know what I mean? We're taking it to the next level. For real? Hey, I got to – man, I'm trying to get an interview. Hey, Fresh BX, I found out who – um, I got the next – Chris Colbert is the next Derrick Gaynor, bro. Go look up Derrick Gaynor. Derrick Gaynor was promoted, and he was tra trained by Roy Jones Jr. He was actually trained by Roy Jones Jr. back in the day. He was Roy Jones' best friend from uh, from P Pensacola, Florida. 
from Roy Jones, uh, Roy Jones Jr., same neighborhood. He came up with Roy Jones. You know what I mean? And that's who um, that's who Chris Colbert fights like. But he's a little bit feather fisted though. Chris Colbert and you know his punches be it be light as a feather though. <clears throat> Chris Colbert, his punches be light as a feather. Julio Ocho, Julio Ocho says many Mexicans are of Irish descent, like Canelo, and they get down. <clears throat> he ain't Irish, he's Mexican. I never heard Canelo say he was Irish. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna sit here and say that he is. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna give you know the Irish the benefit of the doubt. Canelo is Mexican and he never even been to Ireland, bro. He never even been to Ireland. King Miss said Derek Gaynor was cheated versus Robert Garcia. You remember Derek Gaynor? He was like a featherweight version. Derek Gaynor was a featherweight version of Roy Jones Jr., bro. Fresh BX, go look up Derek Gaynor on YouTube, bro. Go look at his highlights. Derek Gaynor had crazy hand speed, bro. He was like a featherweight Roy Jones. And that Chris Colbert fights just like Derek Gaynor, bro. You know what I mean? And, and uh, guess what? You know what I mean? Gary Russell Jr. is the next Eddie Hobson. Gary Russell Jr. is the next Eddie Hobson. Tommy Gunn. Shout out to Tommy Gunn in the building, bro. Hit the like button ASAP, bro. We out here. Tommy. Hey, ain't you a Roy Jones Jr. fan? Go ahead, Coco. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I was just saying hello. I'm sorry. Hey, go ahead. Holler at your boy Tommy Gunn. I know that's your boy. My no, bad. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's over. What's up, Tommy Shout Gunn? Bro, my bad, Coke. You know what I mean? Shout out to T Tommy Gunn, bro. TG. TG, are you with me? What up, though, Tommy Gunn? Fresh BX say he not looking him up. Derek Gaynor, bro, was he grew up with Roy Jones Jr. Ain't you a Roy Jones Jr. fan? Man, you ain't no real Roy Jones fan then, bro. He said, I only watch him when I got to. Ain't that your boy, though? Ain't that your boy, Chris Colbert? You the one that put me on Chris Colbert, bro. I thought he was a bum until you told me about him. Hey, look, I'm dropping a link right here for tomorrow's video. This is tomorrow's video. Austin M.O. Williams. The next Austin M.O. Williams is the next Reggie Johnson. Go hit that like button, bro. Hit the like button on the video, Tommy Gunn, King Mitch, Fresh BX. You know what I mean? Everybody in the chat. Julio Ocha. Go hit the like button on that, that, that link I just dropped in the chat. Hit the like button right there, bro. You know what I mean? And go turn up that video by smashing the like button. Trust and believe it. Speak and receive it, believe it. <laughs> hey, Coco, what Wilder be saying? Speak and receive it, believe it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, Speak yeah, that's a, that's you know a I mean? tongue twister. That's a tongue twister, H. Facts. Man, shout outs to Wilder, bro. I hope Wilder bounce back, bro. You know what I mean? After getting cheated like that, it's going to be hard for Wilder to bounce back, man, after, you know what I mean, taking, you know, those type of, you know, uh, those type of blows to the brain with that temper with glove, you know what I mean? I hope he bounces back. They said he got a, a dent in his skull, bro. Wilder had an actual dent in his skull. I've seen a picture of a dent. I think it was the brotherhood that he put a picture out today, and Deontay Wilder had a dent in his head. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm -mm. I haven't seen it. Um. Uh, what's it called? I just uh, uh, I haven't been uh, I was actually just like rewatching yesterday's show today. You know, while I was uh, while I was out like smashing around. Facts, bro. So I, I got didn't... special. My bad, Coco. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, nah, so yeah, man. Um, man, I got uh, I got I got Boza winning this this fight right here, but I didn't like how we finished the last two rounds. Um, uh, Fires was bullying him and actually threw him. Down to the ground at the end of the of the um uh, of the eighth, um you know, Bosa doesn't have enough power. I don't see him doing too much if he do, if he can't get a guy like Friars out of there. To be honest with you, big facts. King Mitch says Gary Russell Jr. got to get fights. He shouldn't skip one thirty. Facts. Gary Russell be talking like he the toughest dude in the world, bro. You know what I mean? I I'm get kind of getting tired, bro. You know what I mean? I'm kind of tired of Gary Russell Jr. running his mouth the way he does, bro. You know what I mean? For real, bro. He acting like he's just the toughest, the toughest dude in the world. And I remember, hey, they never ain't girl kind of fine right there. You know what I mean? I like the uh 
the brown skin chick she looked good but yeah um what i'm trying to say is uh you know what i mean uh, gary russell jr be talking like he all the way tough like he really about that action but i remember when gary russell jr had fought against lomachenko at the weigh-in he wouldn't even look lomachenko in his eyes you know what i mean he was scared to look lomachenko in the face at the weigh-in he wouldn't even look him in the face gary russell had his head all the way down I'm sick of Gary Russell Jr., bro. Gary Russell got he got whooped by Loma. Loma beat the brakes off of Gary Russell Jr., bro. And ever since then, he's been fighting bums. Oh, oh yeah, he beat Johnny Gonzalez, who's about 40 years old. You know what I mean? Johnny Gonzalez, who was 40. Oh, he beat Jojo Diaz too. I can't I can't knock him for that. He did beat Jojo Diaz too. You know what I mean? Gary Russell got some skills though, but he ain't got no power. He's feather fisted. Gary Russell Jr. is the next Eddie Hobson. Fresh BX, everybody in the chat, go look up Eddie Hobson. You know what I mean? He is the next Eddie Hobson. Trust and believe that, bro. I got exclusives for you. Mario Barrios, the next Amir Khan. You know what I mean? I got, bro, exclusives, bro. You know what I mean? Fresh BX says Fortune 500 mind. You know what I mean? Fortune, five, Fortune 500 mindset. You know what I mean? With the street mentality. Gang, gang. Shout out to BX100. He said, I heard Kiss versus Fab was crazy. Man, hey, Jada Kiss way better than Fabulous. Fabulous ain't nowhere near Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss 10 times better than Fabulous, bro. 20 times better than Fabulous, bro. Fabulous, bro, he came into the game trying to sound just like Mace. <laughs> Fabulous came into to the rap game using mace whole style bro and then fabulous he had bars he, he did have bars but fabulous wasn't nowhere near lloyd banks lloyd banks had way more bars than fabulous bro fabulous was a knockoff mace so i couldn't respect fabulous because he didn't have his own style bro you know what i mean let's go fresh bx says they don't know how he said diverse i really am they don't know how yeah. diverse I really am. You know what I mean? What Yo, up, H. Cisco? Go ahead, Coco. I'm sorry. Um, no, I just want to get the um, you know the, you know the fans out there caught up on the fight. So, um, Boza won by unanimous decision. Uh, Boza outlanded uh, Fires 321 pu punches thrown to 279, and uh, Boza landed 103 punches to Fires 76. At a 32% percentage compared to a 27% percentage, and uh, he he won the he he lost the uh, the body you know he punches to 13 to uh to 40, but he still won the fight. Facts, facts. You know what I mean? Shout out to Francisco Nito in the chat box one on one. He says Gary Russell Jr. beats Tank Davis. He got an opportunity. He has a chance to, but. I think Tank got a little bit too much power for him. You know what I mean? Can he stay away? He has he, he is I think it's a close fight. Who y'all think wins? Gary Russell Jr. or Tank? You know what I mean? I think it's I got, a good fight. To I, got, I got I got Tank. Yeah, Tank got more power. Gary Russell got more skills. You know what I mean? Let's go. Seals says Russell Jr. got beat by Lomachenko. Yeah. Lomachenko beat the snot out of his nose. Beat the snot out of his nose. The next American. <laughs> Fresh BX is laughing. Hey, American underrated, though. You got to think about it. An Olympic silver medalist. He beat Maidana. American beat Maidana. He beat Zab Judah. He beat Paula Malinaji. He beat Devin Alexander. And he beat a couple of other guys. So American, bro, has some wins. And he fought everybody. Canelo. You know what I mean? He fought Canelo. He beat Lamont Peterson, too. Don't forget he beat Lamont Peterson, too. Coco Tyler and King Mitch got beef in the chat. MXBC, the beef continues from yesterday. Coco Tyler and King Mitch. You know what I mean? King Mitch says, Gary Russell Jr. disappointed me versus Loma. He said, I'm still rooting for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm still rooting for him, though. Let's talk more fights with worthy opponents. You know what I mean? Fresh BX up. Boxing is already. You tripping. You tripping, bro. Ain't nothing like boxing, bro. Boxing is the greatest sport ever invented, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, Coco, you can give me about give me about seven minutes. I'll be right back. You, you okay? I got you. I got you. I, 
I got you. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Here we go. They got the comparison right here. The tail of the tape. Lomachenko versus Teofimo. Lomachenko, 32 years old. Teofimo, 22 years old. You know? Lomachenko debuted in, in 2013. And Lopez in 2016. Lomachenko has the WBA and the WBO title. And Lopez has the IBF title. Lomachenko has 10 defenses. And Teofimo has zero. Amateur record, 396 and one for Lomachenko. And the uh, amateur is 150 and 20 for Teofimo. Professional record, let's see here. 14 and one for Lomachenko and 15 and 0 for Teofimo Lopez. Yo, man, I'm going to go with Teofimo Lopez in that fight. You know what I'm saying? I think he's going to catch Lomachenko slipping. You know what I mean? I think he's going to get him. You know, I think he's fast enough. I think he's strong enough. You know, Lomachenko is, you know, already 32 years old. He got this young rising star. Um, you know, make it happen. I hope this fight happens. You know, th that would be the greatest thing for me to see, you know, like uh, a nice matchup like that during this COVID era. I think it would be great for boxing. That would definitely uh, boost the sport. You know, everybody just, you know, get together and watch a good old fashioned fight. It's going to, it has two great names Lomachenko versus, uh, versus Teofimo. You know, that, that's a great fight right there. Make it happen. Top rank. You know, you guys are in the same side of the street. There's no reason why it can't happen. You know, just get the sign sealed and delivered and, and get it in there. And I'm, and I, I'm going with, uh, I'm going with Teofimo Lopez with the upset on, on Lomachenko. You know, I think this will be a big test for Lomachenko. You know, I don't think it's a cakewalk. You know what I mean? So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's up to you. Who are you going to pick? You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to have uh, Lomachenko win in that fight, but you know, if you if you go in there with the with the odds and 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 Teofimo catches them early or or within a couple rounds and and takes them out of there, man, that's going to be a, a great fight. So yeah, man, it was um, I guess it was planned for May 30th. They're saying, but due due to the COVID, it's scheduled for um, uh, it's scheduled for September 19th. So I guess the fight is on. You know what I'm talking about? So we definitely have something to look forward to. You know, that's a that's a great fight right there. That's a big fight. And, you know, I'm pretty sure all boxing fans are excited about that. I know I am, you know. So, you know, I can't wait for that. You know, Bob Arum doing his best to keep keep boxing alive during this time. You know, taking all the precautions, making sure that, you know, everybody stays in their bubble and, and whoever's got a little bit of hint of COVID you know, they, they're out. So that's that, you know, I'm talking about, there's no more, con no more contamination between each other, you know? So yeah, man, we got, we got something big to look forward to, man. And I got, man, I got Teofimo, man. I'm going to put all my chips with Teofimo, the big upset, big money maker, big time. You know what I mean? Gonna make some big money with Lomachenko. I mean, uh, with, with uh with Teofimo. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that K and Fuz look knocking them out. Dang. Teofimo super strong. And he is agile, quick, could do a backflip. Yeah. I wanna you know Teofimo's gonna you know Teofimo's gonna bring that, that heat. Lomachenko's going to have to do some evasive maneuvers. Going to have to be real defensive. You know, that's going to be a heck of a fight. I can't wait for that. You know what I'm talking about? Who you guys got in the chat, man? Just put your put your name up, who you got. You know, who you got, Lomachenko or, uh, or Teofimo, man? At the end of the day, you know, it's up, you know, boxing is boxing. Anything could happen. But, you know, I'm going to go with the young dog, Teofimo Lopez, man. 
You know what I mean? How you gonna how you gonna contest with that? You know, it's gonna be a heck of a fight. You know what I mean? 32 years old, baby. Not a spring chicken anymore. You know, getting older, you know. Has a lot of a lot of amateur experience though, but you know, he's already in the tail end of his career. So from here on out, Lomachenko should just be fighting big fight after big fight after big fight. So this is just a good step in the right direction, you know. This is a great step in the right direction because that's what we want to see, right? We all want to see the big fights. We all want to see the, the, the main events. And uh, you never know. This could turn into a three-fight, four-fight, whatever, you know? Okay, first, first of the checker, look, look, look at the time. And then, that's what it is. Fresh said it. All right, Fresh, me and you are going against each other. You know, I, I got, I got Teofimo Lopez, man. You know, I got Teofimo. Shock the world. You know, shock the world. That's a big upset. Huge upset. Nobody's expecting it. At least not a lot. You know, everybody's going to be predicting Lomachenko, Lomachenko, watch. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, man, hopefully we get to see more fights just in that in that kind of caliber. You know, we'll see how um, the cross-promotional companies will be able to do it. You know, like, you know, hopefully we could see some, you know, some Haney's and, you know what I mean, some Brian Garcia's and, you know, some Shakur Stevenson's and, you know, we'll see what happens with the, Deontay Wilder and Fury. I'm excited about that. So we'll just see how this COVID thing plays out. You know, I don't, I don't want to get too, too excited. Hopefully these cases don't start popping up like they've been doing, you know, because re recently the, the numbers have been going up. So there's been a couple of other cities that have had to shut down, you know. So, you know, hopefully we get a handle on it, try to get back to normal, get some more fights in. You know, but I feel like if anything, like um, boxing is the best sport to try to have, you know, of being able to contain it because you only got like you got two fighters, you got their team and that's it. You don't got a whole bunch of players and, you know, a whole bunch of like, you know, different different entities that could happen, you know. King Rich says tough fight Loma seems to have. Superior boxing skills, but Teofimo has the edge of power. Yeah, man, I see it the same way. I see it the same way. You know, I just, I'm just counting on Teofimo's power to come through for me. You know, I'm just, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that Teofimo shocked the world. You know what I'm saying? That'll be great. That'll be a great, great result for me. You know. Because I've been hearing too much about Lomachenko is the best pound for pound and all this and that. So we'll see what happens after he faces his, like, his first real challenge with uh, Teofimo Lopez. That's hungry, been calling him out, is ready, you know what I mean? And I know, uh, I know, I know Teofimo Lopez had a little bit of a challenge with, the, with, the, um, with that tall Japanese fighter, but that's, that was just a little bit awkward for him, so he struggled. But, you know, with Teofimo, they're going to be the same height. You know, similar, similar bodies. So it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to pair up to be a. It could be one of those classics, just back and forth. Uh, you know, it could be a, a chess match, and it could also go down as a, as a, as a, as a rumble in the, in the jungle. You know, what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. What do we got going on now? Let's see, Vargas versus Rincho. The co-feature, Jose Vargas, 16 and 1 with 9 KOs, and I missed the other one.
It's going down. Brinco, Brencino, Vargas versus Brencino. Here we go. Damn, there's one dude with a with a with like an Indian outfit, and the other one's got like a Joker outfit. Salvador Brencino from Mexico, age twenty-five. 17 wins, 5 losses. Here we go. Josu Vargas, 16 and 1. 140 pounds, 5 ounces. From Puerto Rico, 22 years old. All right, here we go. This is a this is a classic Puerto Rico versus Mexico. This is it. Another classic. This is going to be a banger. Puerto Rican style versus Mexican style. This is what it's all about. Here we go. Here we go round 1. Brincino Vargas with the one two. Bencino with the punch in the gut. Vargas goes upstairs. Vargas upstairs. Bencino with the counter punch. Connected to the head. Vargas with the jab. Ooh, Vargas with the one-two counter. Conventino coming in. Ooh, Vargas is looking sharp. Vargas with another one-two. Right hand, left hand right down the middle. He's a southpaw versus a, a, a right orthodox fighter in Bertino. Dang, but Bencino's trying to inch in. Vargas on the back foot. Connects again. Vargas with the lead left hand straight to Bencino's head. Bencino's a little slow. Bencino's the bigger man, though. He's, walk he's trying to walk him down. Vargas once again unloads with the, with the lead left hand. Dang. Vargas is quick. He's quicker than Bencino. 47 seconds left in the first out of a 10-rounder co-win event. Vargas doing good evading Bencino and working the ring and working his jab Bencino's trying to corner him in the corner. Vargas is able to elude him and come out punching. Ooh, Vargas with the hook. Caught him. Bencino right in the chest. Vargas is definitely more of the polished polish fighter between both of these guys. Gonna have to give that round to uh, Vargas. Yes, sir. Definitely had more aggressive, more aggressive puncher coming in, trying to get on the inside, but uh, uh, Bencino definitely wasn't able to do that. Um, Vargas was a lot quicker, was able to respond even with, with lead left hands, um, dipping out of there, moving around, using the ring to avoid him. Um, so yeah, that first round definitely has to go to uh to Vargas from Puerto I'm Rico. I'm back, Coco. I'm sorry, bro. I had to do something real quick. That's all good. Yo, shout out to Tony Picks MMA in the chat. 
hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Tony. You know what I mean? King Mitch. Irene, what's up, Irene? Yo, H, why don't you, why don't we start doing the um why don't we start doing our thing? Cause I mean we're already in the Coleman event and you know we should start calling these fights. You know what I'm talking about? You. Yes, sir. I got you, man. You know you the Don. Um, I got you. You uh man, we're gonna break it down. Arim, how you doing? Appreciate everybody. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Fresh World Combat Sports, what up though? World Combat in the building. He said big up. On a Tuesday boxing, bro. Shout out to uh World Combat Sports, my boy. Go check him out. Go subscribe to his channel. Let's go, let's go. Round, let's see what round is it. Round number two, Vargas versus Brasino, Puerto Rico versus Mexico. And uh from what I'm seeing, it's like so Vargas is in a Vargas is the light skinned dude, like he's lighter, right? But yeah, I see it. I yeah, see it. So um Bencino, Bencino, the Mexican, is wearing the red and black shorts, and Vargas, the the Puerto Rican, is wearing the ones with the with the tassels hanging, the white tassels. Okay, I'm going with the um, I'm gonna go with Vargas in this one. I think Vargas is the favorite. I think Vargas, he got a lot of skills, as you can see. Vargas with a short uppercut on the inside by Vargas. Vargas looking strong. He's looking fast. Second round, round number two in this cold main event of the evening. Shout out to everybody. What up, though? Red the baby. What up, though, Red? What's going on? Coco Tyler, Coco Tyler said, H Money, how's your dogs? My dogs are good. I just fed them right before the streams. The stream has started. I just fed all my dogs. They doing good, man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate it. Everybody hit the like button. Let's go. Round number two. And right now is a big jab upstairs land from Vargas. Vargas is being slick. You know what I mean? Out of Puerto Rico, he got a lot of skills. You know what I mean? He, he kind of reminds me of a Hector Macho Camacho a little bit. And rest in peace to the great legendary Hector a young one. Macho Camacho. A young one. I could see a young Hector Macho Camacho in him. He was like That's that. Cool. He, he was able to move in and out. and 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 But... Hector Camacho's hand speed was in, you know, I don't I don't see Hector Camacho's hand speed and his power in this young man, but he's quick. He's definitely quick. He was he was doing a lot of uh lead left hands, uh, you know, and Brentino was trying to get in last round and it definitely didn't happen for him. And I'm seeing more of the same in this round. And uh I have to pick Vargas. I know you have Vargas, but I have to pick Vargas because I have to continue my uh, my winning streak. I haven't lost yet tonight. For sure. Red the baby, hit the like button, subscribe right now. He said, Did Alex Saucedo win? Okay, see, they fight next. They coming up next. They haven't started. He says Sonny is. So Sonny is from OKC. You know what I mean? Sonny Fredrickson is from OKC. I bet. Shout out to Alex Saucedo. He's gonna be in a tough fight. Saucedo can fight. He said, I mean, Sonny might put up a fight. I hope so, man. He's from OKC. He gotta represent the hometown. Right here, I see Vargas with a big jab upstairs by Vargas. Uppercut by Vargas on the inside. Big uppercut by Vargas on the inside. King Mitch says, Brasino is coming forward all fight. Vargas is outboxing him, though. Yeah, he is. He looking Facts. slick, man. Ring general. He looking, you know, he doing that ring general shit, bro. Looking slick. You know what I mean? That's why I said uh, Camacho. He, he probably not on that. Oh, he said... Alex Saucedo is from OKC. All right, shout out. To, I'm going with Saucedo. You know what I mean? I think Saucedo going to win. I got Sa Saucedo winning by knockout. I think Saucedo knocks out uh, Fredericks in the night. You know what I mean? Let me take a look at Let me take a look at my notes on what I I put down for that fight, my prediction. Professional, bro. Coco, you the best in the business for real. Yeah, I'm going to go with Alex Saucedo. Yep, because he's you know he's got a lot of KOs, and uh, I mean it's a very tough fight to call, but um, I'm gonna go with Alex Alcido, Mexico, Mexican fighter, Mexican style, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico, let's go, let's go, bro. You know what I mean, Mexican fighters, bro. They've been fighting since they was you know what I mean teenagers. 
Mexican fighters, they turn pro at 16 years old, bro. They've been, they do it their whole life. You know what I mean? And hey, but, uh, but Devin Haney, Devin Haney went down to Mexico so he could fight professional at an early age. Don't for, Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah, Devin Haney. Yeah, they starting to do it more often. American fighters now, they starting to go a pro at an earlier age. You know what I mean? So shout outs, shout outs to everybody. You know what I mean? Shout outs to, you know what I mean? Everybody in the industry, you know what I mean? That's doing their thing. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Salute. You know what I mean? We in here, man. Great fights tonight. Great fights. Let's go. Left hand lead by Vargas. Vargas is outboxing him. He's looking very slick, but he's starting to slow down a little bit. And the pressure from Bersino, Bersino starting to put that pressure on him like King Mitch said. King Mitch is right. Left hook upstairs by Vargas. Uppercut Vargas with a quick combination. Let's go. Yeah, Vargas is winning the exchanges, though. You know, Bersino's ben definitely trying to put his weight on Vargas to put that, you know, when they do get close. And, uh, I mean, he is coming, and he's, but he's just not as sharp, you know. Uh, he's definitely uh, getting his punches in, but not as many as Vargas. And Vargas is definitely uh, controlling this another round for Vargas. Uh, 45 seconds left. Facts, facts. Big right hand upstairs. You know what I mean? Oh, Vargas with the quicker hands. Vargas is much quicker than, um, than Brasino. Vargas got hand speed, bro, and that's the difference in the fight is the quickness and the speed of Vargas. They're going to start saying, Vargas time, Vargas time. Like macho time. Let's go. Hit the like button right away. We in the building, bro. You know what I mean? Coco to Don, H Money, Mr. The Zone, back again with another one. You know what I mean? And uh, this Thursday, we're going to have the fight. Jose Pedraza is fighting this Thursday. So make sure you tune in for that live stream as well, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be epic. Trust and believe it. You know what I mean? Speak it, receive it, and believe it. You know hey, what I mean? Money. Existence, man. Shout out to Fresh hey, BX. Shout out to King Mitch. Red the Baby. Tony Picks. MMA. Shout out to you. Irene Irwin. Shout out to Irwin Irwin. You know what I mean? Appreciate everybody. World Combat Sports. This is how we doing it. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, H, yo, H Money, did you see that they announced... Uh... They officially announced the the Teofimo Lopez fight versus uh Gasili Lomachenko on Real September nineteenth. Yeah, they, 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 they Yeah, I hear you. They officially they officially announced it though. Like, they got a date for it? Yeah. When is it? September September nineteenth, I believe. I forgot I forgot to write it down on my notes, but yeah. Dang, I was I was yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, I couldn't turn up the volume because we were doing the live stream, but I was trying to uh, relay the message to the to the listeners out there. Facts. Facts. Shout out to the World Combat Sports. Make sure everybody go subscribe to his channel ASAP. Go check him out. Big hey, bro. shout out. Wait, I want to give a shout out to uh, World Combat Sports, man. You're definitely a gentleman, and I, I really appreciate when you come on the show, man. Definitely, man. He knows his boxing. He knows his UFC. He knows he knows his combat sports, and that's what that's for sure. Shout out. That's to why Coco the Tyler. name the name fits. Shout out to the MXBC, Coco Tyler, King Mitch, TJ Ford in the building, and Fresh BX. You know what I'm talking about? Coco, he said, uh, "Where they fighting at the uh, Lomachenko fight? Any uh, location is it Vegas, or you you're not sure?" Man, I man, you know how it is when they. They kind of flashed it on me, and I was I was just trying to read as much information off, and then trying to keep um trying to keep everybody entertained. So I wasn't able to you know I wasn't able to like put it down like I was supposed to. Man, I apologize to everybody. Hey Lomachenko gonna smash him, bro. I know you going with Tiafimo. I know you got Tiafimo Lopez. I got Lomachenko outboxing him and giving him a master class. What about wow. you? Well, I'm hoping for um. I'm hoping that Teofimo uh, could come in within the first three rounds or four rounds 
and um and give uh Lomachenko problems with his power and uh and give him a side of 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 an opponent that he hasn't seen you know just a dynamic a uh, fast aggressive puncher uh that has a great left and right hook and uh could take you out with either hand so it's a dangerous fight and uh credit to Lomachenko for taking on the fight it you know this is what we're looking for we're looking for the best fight the best so um yeah, uh, you know, he needs a name, and uh, Teofimo is a good name. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going with uh, I'm going with Teofimo Lopez, man. I'm going for the upset, like I always do, or most of the time. Yeah, I just think I seen uh, we seen Teofimo Lopez against um, you know Nakatani, that Japanese fighter, gave him all type of problems with his footwork. The Japanese but he was fighter, taller though. It was uh, yeah, it was man, you know he's a ball. make fights. A no, but Styles make Styles make fights. Styles make fights. Make fights. I'm saying. And Teofimo Lopez and Teofimo Lopez is the same kind of height, and and Lomachenko, and Lo, I think it could be one of those like equal equal footings. But Teofimo Lopez, see the the reason I mentioned the Nakatani fight, it exposed Teofimo Lopez as a flat footed fighter. That he's flat footed. It's not the height that gave him problems. It was the footwork of Nakatani. And Nakatani exposed Tiafimo as a flat-footed fighter. And Lomachenko, he's known for having great footwork. Lomachenko is known for being, you know, a great boxer and very slick. So Lomachenko, I think his footwork is going to give Tiafimo Lopez plenty of problems. And I just think he's going to outbox him and possibly stop him. I know he's he going to outbox him for sure. Remember, y'all hear it first. The day that the fight was announced, y'all hear when I, what my pick. Y'all hear it. Write it down. You know what I mean? Write it down right now. Loma if fresh, if, if, if fresh BX is in, if fresh BX is in the um, is in the is in the comments. You know it's it's being recorded. Right yeah, now, you write it down. Write it down, BX. <laughs> Lomachenko, he's gonna give Tiafimo Lopez a boxing lesson. Remember, I told you, bro. And it's gonna be sad to see that kid Tiafimo Lopez. Take a loss that quick in his career, early in his career. Take an L like that, bro. You know, Lomachenko going to take his O, and they're going to say, look, Lomachenko's the greatest fighter that ever lived. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're going to say Lomachenko's the greatest fighter because he beat Tiafimo Lopez, and Tiafimo Lopez, ain't he really ain't beat nobody. But shout-outs to Tiafimo. Uh, you know what I mean? Shout-outs to him taking a fight. You know what I mean? TJ Ford says, H Money Mayweather, salute. Thoughts on Money Bag Joe versus Tank. What happened? They got beef? I'm going with money bag, yo. Tank Davis, bro. You know what I mean? Tank money bag, yo. He from the neighborhood. Money bag, yo. From he from the block, bro. I know the people that be with him. You know what I mean? Money bag, yo. Knows who I am. I'm just telling you, money bag, yo. Got some real goons with him. Tank Davis don't want those type of problems, bro. Trust me, he really don't, bro. You know what I mean? And you remember when somebody from the DMV came to to Memphis? It was somebody from the DMV, that area, from the Baltimore, the Maryland area, D.C. area, the DMV. You know what happened? Shy Glizzy, he came to Memphis, and guess what? He got his chain snatched. <laughs> Real talk, I'm just telling you, but it's a different type of animal out here. You know what I mean? King Mitch says, Brasino started to touch Vargas more in the third, but still Vargas round. Yeah, man, Vargas outboxing him, giving him a boxing lesson. Trust and believe that. You know what I mean? Let's go, bro. Fresh BX at Loma's. Loma's days are numbered. He going on 34. A lot of wear and tear on his body. He only had 14 fights, though. He ain't got that much wear and tear. Only 14 fights. You know what I mean? But He's that amateur, though. But what about the amateur? I mean, oh, oh, like almost, a, I forgot how many, but like at least a 1,000 amateur fights. You know how people be talking about Lomachenko's, you know, 2,000 amateur fights. You know, became pro at age 30, 30, 29. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. The dude, his body's got to be hurting. See, hey, look, money, money bag, yo, and Tank Davis, they got beef over that girl, Ari. They got beef over that girl, Ari Fletcher. All right, let me drop the link. World Combat Sports getting in on the action with us. I think he want to come at me because of that, what I said about Loma. So let's let's get it oh, on. Oh, 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 he said, oh, no, oh. Bro. 
Look what he said. Oh. Y'all are <laughs> H. He said, he said, he said, Gorgo will stop Loma. So he said, Loma, he said, Tia Fimo's going to stop Lomachenko. I yeah, doubt see? See? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I got nothing but respect. You know what I mean? I just think Loma going to school him, bro. Yeah. Mr. World Combat Sports knows what he's talking about. What up, what's, big bro? How you feeling? What's good? H Money Coco in the building. What's good with y'all, man? Yes, sir. Hello. Good afternoon to you, sir. Hey, I, I heard a two part. I, I heard two parts right there, and one was right, and one was absolutely wrong. Cool, H Money cool. Lomachenko Lomachenko is gonna get dealt with and sent the AARP out the Gordo's finish with him. Guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, see, and then with, with Coco said, um, Coco said about the about the amateur fights. That's true. He has a lot of mileage on his body, man, from the amateur. So right now, when people expected him to shine with just fourteen, um, being fourteen and one, he ain't gonna be able to do it, man. He took damage, bro. Facts. I, I just think that Lomachenko's footwork is, is too good for Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo has never, you know, what I mean, been in a in the ring with somebody with th those type of skills. And uh, I've seen Tio Fimo struggle against Nakatani. And that right there is, the, you know, make what's make me, uh, makes my decision. I've seen him get exposed uh World Combat Sports. I have, I've seen it. Yeah, I feel you, man, that Nakatani fight. Check this out. If you ever see Japanese fight, they come over here and they have a different mission than we do. You know, for Japanese to get over here and become a major star, um, it's big for them because, you know, over there where they at, um, they can become a star. But globally, they want to come over here to the U.S. and become a star. And, yes, he did have some range is issues that fight. But make no mistake about it, man. Um, Teofimo Lopez may potentially stop Lomachenko in their fight. He, he has the power to do it. He has the explosiveness. But, but I don't think he can can I go, say, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, go no, ahead. no. I want to say one thing uh, just to add on to that and. And just kind of give you a perspective, H Money, that maybe you're underestimating uh, Teofimo's uh, quickness and his foot, you know, his foot speed and the way he can he could uh, close in on in, and get inside without you even noticing. Like this guy is, he's incredible. Like you, man, we're gonna have to do some film study on him so you can see how how quick and fast he is. Like you know, I, I think you're, and, you know he does backflips. Let's not forget that too. Does you know, backflips? Quick and agile no and strong. Hands. Yeah, no man. hands after a fight. Look, all I'm saying is this: like, I know he's explosive, he's athletic, he he got a lot of power, but he's flat footed, Coco. He's flat footed. Even Devin Haney said ah. it. Devin Haney said it. He was watching the Nakatani fight, and Devin Haney was he was watching the fight. Is is a video on it right now on YouTube? And Devin Haney's like, he's flat footed. He's bro, flat footed. That means Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was flat footy. You know what I mean? A lot of fighters like that, bro. They they fast, <laughs> but where's the footwork? Go go how ahead, World Combat. How flat footed was he when he faced Richard Comey, man? He destroyed him, bro. He destroyed him. Yeah, he did, but Comey was a come forward fighter. He didn't have to use footwork. You know, when Broner fought against um when Adrian Broner he beat down what's his name? The Mexican fighter. Um uh, damn, he just fought, he got robbed. What's his name? Jesse Vargas, what? No, nah, not, not Vargas. It was when who? Broner was undefeated at lightweight. He, the dude who fought um, Edwin Valero back um, in the day. He just fought uh, on ESPN. Dang, I can't believe I forgot his name. But yeah, I'm, are I'm, you, so you trying, you trying to compare Teal to Adrian? Similar, very similar to the undefeated Adrian. Not not like Adrian who who's washed up now. I'm talking about Broner and his prime when. People were saying Broner was the next Mayweather one. When Broner was fighting Paula Malinaji, I'm, I'm comparing mm -hmm. T.O. to that Broner. Okay. Because I, I look at it like this. I, I look I look at Lomachenko, man. Um, his last fight was Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC. And, he yeah, he was able to drop him because he fatigued in 11. But he ended up finishing the fight going the distance. And what that tells me, the distance with these young cats. Lomachenko, man, he, he got he – got, tread man he has tread a lot of tread on them wheels 
And um, he's not getting cats up out of there. You know, he turned the corner and stuck that and ran into that um, that straight right hand by freaking Linares. Man, he got sat down, bro. You know, he got back, he got back up and he stopped him. He, he, he did, but he didn't stop who? Who was next? Pedraza, right? Pedraza? He fought Pedraza, right? Yeah, he fought Pedraza, yes. And went the distance. You know what I'm saying? Went the distance. And, and you know, it all depends. You know, Lenar is – he had been stopped before. So I don't take too much um, accountability that, like, Lenar has already been stopped before, though. Well, um, so the fight I was talking about when Broner had beat Antonio DeMarco, that's the fight Antonio I was DeMarco. trying to mention. And when Broner fought DeMarco, Broner beat the brakes off of DeMarco. And everybody was saying Broner's the next great fighter. I see a lot of similarities from, from um, Tiafimo Lopez – and like uh really him and andre berto remind me of each other he reminds me of andre berto with a lot of speed a lot of power very explosive but he's flat-footed and at the end of the day lomachenko got more tools in his box and i feel like lomachenko gonna confuse him with that footwork and we thought he was confused against nakatani he really gonna be confused against lomachenko and even coco tyler in the chat shout outs to him he says nah Loma is gonna is gonna kick Lopez. He's gonna kick his butt, man. He's gonna whoop his he's gonna whoop his tail, bro. You know what I mean? So not a, not a chance, big homie. Not a chance on that night. Ain't a chance. We're gonna be back on yeah. here to goddamn get the, the blessings from the freaking pastor so y'all can goddamn give a testimony for your sins. Yes. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't see it to be honest with you. I I feel like you're gonna, you gonna have to shut down your channel H Money and get baptized and then come back and, and repent. Hey, you know what? It ain't gonna happen because Loma gonna beat him. You know what I mean? Hey, Loma gonna, he gonna school him. He gonna school if he got look, if he struggled with Nakatani, what you think Loma gonna do to him? Man, but he's a world champion. You know, he won his first championship belt with 15 fights, man. The dude is a problem. You know, Tiafimo is only getting better. I've seen him fight twice already, man. I'm a T I'm a Tia Fimo fan, man. Dude is very athletic that people know. And um when 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 they fight di at the end of this year, I'm telling you, man, T T um Tia Fimo is gonna show Lomachenko something different. Believe that, man. It's gonna be an easier fight than what you think. I got I got Loma, bro. I got Loma. I think he's gonna school him. I think he's gonna make it look easy. He gonna he's gonna, he gonna make it look Your easy. Got him? What was that? You, do your cash app got Loma? Yeah, I got well, we Loma. Can link, cash we, we, can got link Loma. Up. we can link up. For sure, we, we can, can link, link up. up. That's easy money for me. Okay, what you talking then? You said what I'm talking? Yeah, what you talking? You know, you let's let's make a wager, man, on that fight. For sure, for I sure. Gotta, I gotta get some credit to the fight, get a little bit closer. I got to get some chestnuts. You know, it's going to be near Christmas time. I got to get some freaking eggnog and shit like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> make, it a, make it a, make it a, make it a, make it a friendly wager. Make it a friendly wager. So, you know, nobody, nobody gets too, uh, too affected. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, bro. for sure. For sure. Everything is friendly, friendly, man. It's respectful, bro. It's all yeah, good. Yeah. Cause like I, I don't want, you know, I don't want you guys to get, uh, and then it starts to get to the, uh, to the thousand dollar mark, you know, nah, nah. <laughs> I'll put a, <laughs> I'll put a rack on it. No, nah, I got two racks on it. Nah, you my know? rack, my rack could go to the heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Tyson Fury and Deontay. That that's where it go. Not not Lomachenko I, and and yes. um, and you know Teofimo Lopez. No, nah, that ain't happening. Oh man, combat sports. I got to get my two racks back. I lost two. <laughs> I lost two last time on Wilder versus Fury. So I need that back. I need my payback. I'm yeah, putting another that. two. I hear that. I got So I'm putting another two. Get my payback. Yo, Fresh BX says Tiafimo Lopez has a better chance at beating Lomachenko than Canelo. Canelo had beating Mayweather. Yes, I you agree. guys are underestimating them. Like Tiafimo, Tiafimo Lopez. You guys are underestimating them, man. Salute the Fresh BX, man. You know what he's talking about? Yep. But uh, Canelo wasn't no slouch coming into that Mayweather fight. 
you know, a guy with a lot of experience coming into that fight. You know, he was taking on big names, had Mosley already, you know. Well, I'm just saying, like, Tia Fimo, if we're going to judge Tia Fimo and say he beat Richard Comey and that was his best win, you know, Richard Comey got beat by Robert Easter Jr. And Robert Easter Jr., you know, he he's not that good of a fighter. So if his best win is Richard Comey, you know what I mean? And Richard Comey lost to Robert Easter Jr., that's not that impressive to me. That's just being real. But but you have to disperse Robert Easter Jr.'s loss because he picked up the belt though. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of champs that lost to people that's in the equation in boxing. But if they pick up a belt, that erases some of that. Yeah, he might have lost, but it erases it. You know what I'm saying? Like he picked up the IBF man. He went in there and fought who? Burchett, right? Um, it wasn't Burchett. I think Ray Beltran or something Beltran. like that. Yeah, he fought Beltran, man. Um, who was a, who was a good opponent for him? You know, stood there doing the mannequin challenge. You know, on the end of a glove, and you know Richard Comey, you know, beat him to the stoppage. But um, Tia Fimo came in there and did what he had to do in two rounds, man. So, you know, both. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know this too. Um, Lomachenko knows mixed martial arts. He's he's a well-rounded fighter outside of the boxing ring. You know, he's athletic too, just like Tia Fimo Lopez. But I just think his age, you know, and, and um, his internal mechanics, we might see a little bit of, um, you know, um, slow down. We might see a little bit of the great, the greater the Billy from Lomachenko from the Olympics all the way to now. Hey, hey you say you... Sport, can, can, oh, I'm sorry. I just. Go what's ahead. up with my dog? What's up? What's up? How How you up? Say, hey, hey. Mr. Good. Combat Sport, can I ask you a question? You know, like how, um, you know how, like Lomachenko, you know, he he's already got a lot of wear and tear, right? So, like, can, he can't go after this fight. You know, after fighting Teofimo, he can't go fight no more bombs. You know what I'm saying? Like from here on out, it's, it has to be step up after step up after step up. You know what I mean? And, you know, it could be. You know, it has it has to be tank next then for me. That, that's the only way I could see it to satisfy I me. Like I like that, man. I mean, you got your thinking cap on. Yeah. You know, but, you know, um, look at it this way. He's a franchise champion, man. So that's going to take away a lot of, you know, what you just said. You projected that he should have step up fights if indeed he beats Teofimo Lopez. Got it. Will it happen? That's a whole nother deal because he's a franchise champion. Now, what's crazy, right, is that. Just say, for instance, you know, he's a, he's a WBA and WBO right. champion right now, right? My pillow, my pillow. Scoops. This is my pillow. What is you talking about? Oh, never mind. He, he scoops up the IBF from Tia Fimo, if that's the case. And then, um, you know, will he fight Devin Haney? Because nope. even though Mauricio Suleiman said you can be undisputed champion with the franchise belt, it's not going to be recognized legitimately. It's not going to be recognized unless he go fight Devin Haney for the super WBA super title, right? And I think he and, and I, I think, think he ducked Haney. I think he ducked Haney to to get that French fry um, title. How is it the French fry? Yeah, hey, he, did, he voided Haney. You know what I mean? But I'm just gonna be real, bro. You know what I mean? Ray Beltran, sure he beat Ray Beltran, Comey, but who did Ray Beltran beat? Like. I'm not I'm, to me just being honest, I'm not really impressed by those wins. And if he beat Richard Comey, you know, what I mean, that's a, that's a good victory for him. But Comey is nothing special. So when he get in there with Loma, when Loma box circles around him, just remember who told y'all first. Hey, check this out, big, big guy. This is what I was thinking, right? You remember, wasn't it you who uh, brought up Nakatani? And how yeah, they yeah, yeah, no the now when you exposed that's the day he got exposed yep that, but that's not really well for me in my personal opinion why I brought that up is um it's his dimensions is all wrong for a person to size and that's that's why I feel like Loma was kind of ducking Haney to a certain extent and when you get caught off guard like that with a decent boxer like to me that's kind of impressive if you're able to push through that because he was he really wasn't ready for the for the ranginess of the guy and the height and, or whatever 
And I do think T.O. is a better boxer, but I don't think he was fully prepared for that fight. And for him to actually be able to pull that off, that was actually more impressive than a Komei win. Even though we kind of knew who Komei was, and we know Komei got cracks, but I didn't expect him to do him like that in two rounds. Bro, he, was got, that outboxed. One? he got outboxed by Nakatani, bro, and that's facts. You know what I mean? So you're saying it was like an impressive victory because he, he, was, he beat Nakatani, and you said he wasn't ready for that style. Who is Nakatani? Nakatani, no, it's not. He's a Nakatani was a, was a legitimate contender, man. It's not who Nakatani was. I'm talking about like, like, uh, how tall are you, Femo? I'm five six. Okay, so we we shorter dudes. Like, if if when you get caught off guard like that, like, or like you don't like, for instance, uh, we was talking about Corbob and, and, and Charlo. And sometimes them close fights that shouldn't be close to like, yeah, maybe he should have got rid of the guy out of there. Maybe he underestimated him, whatever it was. But I did. That showed me a little more dimensions to T.O.'s game. Like a lot of people was like, oh, man, dog low key trash. You know, who is that guy? But who is any guy? You know, at the end of the day. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to happen with him and Loma. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind putting a couple dollars on T.O., I'm not a big Loma fan, but Loma, Loma is like, like a smart boxer. You know what I'm saying? But he just don't have a lot of power. So if if that youth is on his side, I mean, obviously it could go either way. But that's something I'm actually, like, looking forward to seeing, though. But I don't think Loma's going to fight uh, Devin Haney for the simple fact that Devin Haney's dimensions are wrong, like, as far as, like, the height and what gives him problems. And I feel like Devin Haney would spark Luke Campbell. And if he had trouble with Luke, I think Devin might be able to push the edge over Loma. Yeah, I agree. I just want to say this. If Lomachenko ducked Devin Haney, but he wants to fight uh, Tiafimo Lopez, what does that tell you? Lomachenko seen a, he sees a weakness in Tiafimo Lopez after the Nakatani fight. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's easier. Work, but no, it's that, going to be fight. I bet for a that fight's been on the docket for a long time, man. It's just not coming around. It's, it's it's been in, it's been there for quite some time, man. The only reason it didn't happen due to COVID and everything else, but all they want to do is wait for Tiafimo to pick up that belt. Um, Tiafimo is gonna try to unify the 135 pound division before he move up to 140. Um, that's that's the plan. He definitely moving up to 140. Um, if he win these titles from um, Facili. More than likely, he's not going to wait for um, Devin Haney unless the paycheck and the numbers are right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But Bob Arum, Bob Arum, you know, he he got him one, though, because T.O.'s longer. He's going to have him around for longer anyway. So win or lose, mm-hmm. Bob's still winning, and he keep the belts. Still winning. Yeah. I mean, Bob been winning for a long time, though. But, all right, let's get to some comments. John Kramer says, T.O. Fimo Lopez – Stops Linares in the first round. I don't know, man. Linares is, I mean, he's a he won championships in different weight classes. Linares got a lot of hand speed, and with with the World Combat Sports said Linares been stopped a couple of times. You know, what I mean, I just think Linares he's better than what people uh you know give him credit for. Linares got he got crazy hand speed for sure. Shout outs to everybody. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, my boy OK Gusto in the chat. You know what I mean. Tiafimo got a lot of fans. Angel says, he said, nah, but for real, Tiafimo finna take out Loma. You can't underestimate him. He's the real deal. I hear you, bro. Oh, quick question, you. guys. Um, if y'all cool, if y'all cool with it, I like to add a couple of y'all on Facebook. That way, um, I'll be in these little boxing groups or whatever, so I can add the chats. I don't know who cool with that or not, but we can uh, if we can link up on the gram or Facebook. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I I don't really be on Facebook like that, but uh, yeah, man, I'm down for whatever. Yeah, that, that's how I like to help my homies. I mean, shit when, when they doing their channels too, like you know, like if it's a good group or whatever, and I see y'all talking, and I post it in a little boxing group, I hopefully get a couple more people to slide through. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. Sounds like a plan, though. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm just saying, T. struggling with Nakatani, bro. You know what I mean? But I feel like Nakatani has 
gave us the blueprint on how you beat Tiafimo Lopez. He has written the blueprint. You know what I mean? So now all the fighters are looking at that fight and it's like, yo, this is how you beat this guy. You know, Devin Haney was doing that. Same thing. He watching it. He's flat-footed. You know what I mean? So he he got a weakness, bro. He got you a see, weakness. I understand, I understand your, your, your analytics, right? From assessing, you know, um, I guess – you know, Tia Fima is supposed to go in there and wash Nakatani. I didn't I didn't look at it like that. Um, I agree with um he said earlier, the guy that was on here, um, he basically said that, you know, he pushed through it and he won the fight anyway, even though he was he was disadvantaged okay. with height. He was disadvantaged with his height, his reach, and everything else, but he found a way to win. And to me, always the end game is gonna be more appreciative and value to, for me. You know, because you're right. He did. He didn't look good. He admitted it. He took some punishment. But I'm telling you, Lomachenko hey. is the Nakatani. T- Nakatani, man. I'm telling you. Nakatani yeah, was just Lomachenko. Like can't I said, fight like Nakatani. He's too small. Yep. And he and, and he had that. He had the reach. He was long, lanky, awkward. He hit hard. You know, or like or like that guy. I don't know why the heck uh, Eddie. Eddie put him on that dang on card, the, the one where uh, Dev injured his shoulder. It wasn't that it was a bad matchup. He won every round, but that guy was literally there to survive, bro. And mm-hmm. he like, he like, I know. Him. Yeah, he like, I know I'm supposed to get sparked, but not today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. See, and now, the difference is this. Devin Haney has not been in a close fight, not once. Like, there's no blueprint on how you can beat him. But Tia Fimo, we seen it. We seen him struggle. We seen him go life and death with Nakatani. He got a weakness. You know what I mean? So Devin Haney in that fight with Santiago, Devin Haney knocked Santiago down. He knocked him down any one every round. Hey, you know what, though, too? You got to, um, you're right about that. But we got to see that. You know what I mean? We, we got to see you like, okay, that's why it's so much question behind Ryan Garcia right now because we haven't seen him be able to go to the rounds with a decent fighter. Because, like, bro, these dudes is training. A lot of these dudes is training every single day to, like, try to be as good as you. They don't have a buzz as you. They might not have the athleticism as you. But not everybody coming to lay down. And just because you don't know somebody, you know, it's combat. Facts. See, first BX says, if Haney was in Tia Fimo position and Tia Fimo was in Haney's position... People will say Lomachenko, Duck, and Tiafimo. He says chat facts. Mm. I'm not sure about that, bro. You know what I mean? Because me he, go, go ahead. Somebody else answer up. Go ahead. I said me neither. I'm, a, I'm on your side on that one. Okay. Yeah, man. For me on that one, it feels like, you know, Eddie Hearn, he already did business with Bob Arum and Lomachenko. Eddie Hearn, he made that Lou Campbell – uh, Lou Campbell Lomachenko fight, you know what I mean? Lou Campbell yeah, but- Aaron fighter, Lou Lomachenko Bob Aaron fighter. They did business even in that Corolla fight. Corolla fight Lomachenko, you know what I mean? So Lomachenko's been fighting Eddie Hearn fighters, but when it came to this specific fighter, Devin the Dream Haney, the next Floyd Mayweather, did he want to smoke? No, he ran to nah. DC, requested then- the franchise belt. You know what I mean? He didn't want none. He didn't want that work. But when it came <laughs> to Tiafimo, sure, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he gonna he gonna beat Tio easy, bro. I'm like, telling you, like, easy. I, I think the same thing. He feel like he's seeing Tio is the same thing. He feel like he's seeing Tank. With it being a smaller person. Exactly. I, and, and I think I think that the yeah. edge the edge to Devin Haney. Like I think it's the youth athleticism, and I definitely believe it's is is the ranginess, his height and stuff, skills, his footwork, his movement, his jab, yeah, yeah, his speed, and his and his defense, and his you know, focus, defense. his focus. He's got that. Sh- he's got that shoulder roll. Come on, bro. His focus though too. Like, like uh, like we, when we was talking about the same thing, the knock it, the knock it tiny slash. Charlo Korbov type of like like that just shows that, that that fighter was cocky enough to think like 
Yeah, if you really, if I think if um, T.O.'s mind was in the right place when he was getting ready for Nakatani, but I think he he probably thought like, okay, this is the next fight, but like, all right, he ain't nobody. I'm he a bum or something? You know what I mean? And he wasn't quite a bum. He he was solid. I wouldn't, you know I wouldn't say that, bro. You know what I mean? I, I I can't say he said that. You know what I mean? It sounds good, but at the end of the day, bro, you take every fight seriously. You're supposed you know, to every fight seriously. I'm not gonna sit here and say Tiafimo overlooked Nakatani. You know what I mean? And that's why he was in a tough fight. I'm no, well, he did say fight. he did say some. He has some like like when you be a fighter. Like one thing about. I think the main thing that put Floyd over everybody else was his ability to, to like, uh, focus, man. And it's like sometimes when you do got outside stuff going on in your life, it, it shows in the ring, bro. Bro, bro, that's bro. I ain't gonna lie, AJ. You know I love you, but that sounds like an excuse, bro. Everybody want to say, "Oh, Tiafimo was going through this. He was going through that because he was in a close fight. If he would have knocked him out." Yo, nobody would say anything about that. Everybody would have been just, you know, would have been praising him. He's this, he's so good. But since he's in a tough fight, now all of a sudden he going through, he going through situations. They ain't got nothing to do with what's going in, in the ring, bro. You know what I mean? What goes on, what goes on out the ring, outside the ring ain't got nothing to do with what goes on inside the ring. And but boy, but it do, up, bro. It do now, though, boy, because Mexico's get locked up when he fought Miguel Cotto. And he still went in there and handled his business. And he beat Cotto, unanimous decision. You know what I mean? They ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. That's but you talking like about it. a kid. You talking about a kid versus a grown, a real grown man. Plus, he is the best, period. Not just of our generation. So, like, Floyd is still a whole different category. But, I mean, obviously, anything that, any distractions going on, you know. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just glad he won. For his title. He got stripped for his world title. And he knew it. That didn't stop Ali from going inside the ring and dominating his his opponents. If Tiafimo was a great fighter, like everybody is saying, you know what I mean? I'm not going to make excuses. That's all I'm saying. No, it's not that I'm making excuses. It's just like, it's just life, though. You feel me? I mean, nobody going to be Floyd, bro. But Devin, Haney. Devin Haney's the next Floyd Mayweather, for sure. We'll see, brother. I hope so, though. Like, that is probably my favorite young fighter. You already know. You know. You know I'm Team Haney all day, bro. I, I even like his pops, bro. Yeah, shout out to Bill Haney. We're getting ready for the main event. Anybody else want to get in on this work? What up, though? D Hodge, is he back? D Hodges, what's up, baby? He's probably chilling. You know yeah, what I mean? Gonna, uh, well, you want to get in on that before we get ready for this big fight? Yeah, I was going to tell you... Um... You know, um, the co-main that just ended, um, his, his dad, his dad ended up leaving the bubble, man, without permission, and he wasn't able to corner him. So he sent this, his longtime, you know, friend in there to corner him. Um, that's a good dude right there, man. Y'all should keep your eye out on, um, on, I'm um, sorry, this. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that was an easy target, man. Oh, my God. That dude had no head movement, like. Oh my God! He was just like, just a straight target. I'm you, like, you know why, Coco? I mean, D, D <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because his last fight, he took some punishment, man. Like he is in, he was, he had a tough fight last fight. I'm like, dude, are you gonna hit him sometime or something? Like I'm watching the fight, like try and give dude benefit of the doubt, but he got complete whitewashed, and he got a good <laughs> chin because that either, like I said, it's one of them fights that I say. Either he got a good chin or dude can't punch because he was hitting him with all types of counters. Oh, counter hooks. Wow, dude was still, he still survived. <laughs> That's why I respect him. But yeah, he got whitewashed. That, that, that fight, I kind of got bored. You know what I'm saying? And rolled up and smoked. <laughs> that fight got boring because he was just an open target. So that wasn't a test for him. Hey, D. Um, he was boxing, man. Hey, D. Huh? Hey, D, it's Coco. Um, you know what I got going on right now? Yes, sir. I got me a clean sweep. I'm working on a clean sweep because I picked <laughs> Vargas for that last fight as well. Yeah, so see, all I got to do now, yeah. all I got to do now is get on, on Alex Toledo for him yeah, to take it, it home for me, baby. Yeah, because I, I got one, though, because I did. I picked the dude with the, the other dude had five losses. So, of course, I'm going to pick the guy with one. <laughs> 
you know. Let's so get I, our I, let's get I, our picks I, in before this thing gets started, though. I want to okay, get everybody's. Uh, okay, I got Salcedo, Coco. I got Salcedo. Okay. I'm already losing. I'll go with the other guy. I'm already losing. I already lost two, so I'm already one and two. So all right, uh, you're you're gonna, We got D going for Federickson. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the other guy. World Combat Sports. Who you got in this one? Fredrickson. Ooh, Ooh, here we go. That's two. Yeah, I'm going with Fredrickson, man. Dang, for sure. Yo, what you think about? Salcedo as a fighter of World Combat. Salcedo is nice. Salcedo is nice, man. You know, but this is too. This is a good fight. You know, like my boy from ATL, he gonna be um fighting on um, Thursday, man. Um, he's sixteen and zero. He's fighting a tough fight, just like this one. Um, his opponent is eighteen and one, ten knockouts. He's sixteen and zero, and um eleven knockouts. And it's gonna be a good fight. It's super bantamweight, weight, man. For sure, for sure. I go to the gym uh, all the time, man. For sure. Shout, shout outs to him. What's his name? Carlos Jackson. Carlo uh, Jackson? Carlos Jackson. Okay. Yo, Carlos. that's an L name. That's a Spanish L black name, Carlos Jackson. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. <laughs> D. The best <laughs> of both <laughs> hey, the best of both worlds, D. Best of both worlds, right? <laughs> oh, Carlos sure. Jackson. I'm gonna look sure. out for him though. Yo, uh Anthony, Anthony Jones, if you can come back. You know what I mean? Come through because you made a great point that I want to say. Anthony Jones said, he said Loma might be looking at Tiafimo Lopez as a bigger version of Gervonta Davis. And I believe him right there. That makes sense. I mean, what y'all think about that comment Anthony Jones made? A bigger version than Gervonta? Yeah, like a taller version, like a little bit taller. And just, a, you know, and he's a natural at 135. Just like I, I would say I would suggest this to people. They really need to see Javante fight. Like Javante can actually box. Like Javante, man, he's a savage, man. And I'm not just saying that, you know, like I'm not really a huge Javante fan because every time, you know, you you get him in in um in person, his security just be acting nutty, man. He he does too much, man, you know, to keep people away from Javante. But seeing Javante box, man. Dude, he 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 would give he would give them some problems. He would give Tiafimo um some problems. Haney, all of them. He can box, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, Javante can box. Out of all the knucklehead shit he do outside the ring, man, he's a savage. When he go on the hunt, man, he's licking his chops every time, man. He's not just sitting there, you know, just being reckless. He's he's working the jab to the body, going up top. I mean, when he land those hooks and uppercuts, man, it's with bad intentions. You know, I like Javante, man. Even more when I seen him fight in Baltimore and I seen him fight down here in the ATL. I mean, I like him, man. Yeah, I like I like him too. He hits hard. It would I be a tough are... fight between him and him and Tiafimo Lopez. I ain't gonna lie, that would be a damn good fight. And I'm gonna take Tank on that one too. Tank versus who? Versus Loma. Tiafimo Lopez. Oh, versus Tio Fimo? Yeah, I got I got Tank on that one too. I got Tio. I got Tio. I think Tio a little bit uh too big for Tank, man. Tank is kind of short, bro. He about five. I think some people say he five four in person. You know what I mean? So I just think Tio might be a little bit strong, too big. man. Tank is yeah, strong, strong. Rich, man. He's strong. He powerful. He got power, but Tio, I think is he might be strong. I think Tio stronger than him. I think Tio stronger and taller. And he got, I think he got more skills. You know what I mean? I think, I think he got better skills than Tank, but I might be underestimating Tank. I just think T.O. a better fighter. That would yeah, be I a like good fight, though. When I, I'm very biased when it comes to T.O. Fimo Lopez, man, for real. You know, very biased. Yeah, I, um, uh, I think that, I think that'll be a great fight. Um, both, both hard hitters, both ain't afraid to exchange. Uh, it could be, it might be a 50 50 fight. Um, but uh, I think uh, I think it could go either way. But I'll, I'll put I'll put it on a uh, I'll put it on take for that one though. Just uh, what just about because G. I Russell? think versus who? What about G. Russell moving up to one thirty five? Who would you like? Who would y'all like to see him fight first? He Dang. needs to move to one thirty. Ain't he still at one twenty six? He he said what nothing there for him. You know he he yeah, wants well, to skip he over. Fight. Like a, 
He was gonna skip yeah. over like a bus stop and keep on to the next one. Yeah, but you uh, can't, man. He he's gonna be crazy, man. He's jumping up two divisions, dude. You're 126. You want to go to 140? They are killers at 140. And he Loma Chango, <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he's gonna go from tripping. 130 to 135. He want to go up from where he at now. 26, 26. to 35. They're killers. Yeah. They're killers. Uh, up what about 130? No, uh, world World Box. I mean, World Combat Sports. What about 130? You got Burchett. You got Shakur yeah. around there. Shakur he said Burchett. nobody there interested him. He said nobody there Burchett. interested him at 130. He's tripping. Burchett going to knock him out, bro. That's why he but, don't want Burchett, that Burchett. He, he wouldn't fight. He wouldn't fight <laughs> um, Gary Russell. It's a bad fight for him, bro. Gary Russell can box, man. Gary Russell. I still, I still, I still want him to fight Leo. I still Leo want Leo to fight that. Still, Leo don't want that fight. Yeah, I'm. I'm still waiting. He's doing video with your pops. He's really like. There's nothing more you can do to a person, and they still don't want to fight you. I don't care. We are definitely gonna fight. When Leo, Leo wants want a big money fight right now, bro. You know he want that Javante fight at 130, and you know. Javante coming in one pound over one thirty five. Um, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't see how he's gonna do it, man. He might shock us all and come in on weight. I don't know, yeah, you know bro. You know, he might be more dedicated for that for that money. You know what I mean? He probably come back big. Like he probably come mm -hmm. back. You know what I mean? Like serious. You know what I mean? His biggest fight, and they talking about pay per view for that one. So he might yeah. be motivated. You know what I mean? He might be motivated. But back to Gary Russell. He want to skip 130 because guess what? My boy El Maserati Hancho says no one wants Burchett. So he trying to skip one uh, 130 but to avoid Burchett. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson wants Burchett. Can I say one thing, please? It's the whole point. Okay. Why are you going to jump to 135? Go fight Lomachenko. He beat you. If you want to go to 135, if you want to jump up that high, go, that. Get, yeah. it's, go, it's get, go get it's go politics, get a rematch. I know that. I'm just saying, in my opinion, go get that, run that back with Lomo at one. You don't want that. Trust me, Loma beat the brakes off him, bro. He, man, I heard, I heard Gary Russell family, bro, in the crowd in that fight screaming. Lomo beating that dude so bad, bro. You hear the family screaming. Oh, man, y'all disrespecting my man G. Russell. I'm, look, I'm not. Look, no, but that one I'm, fight, I'm he got let you know, right, I will let you know right now, Ace, when you're going to be the first one to know. I'm, I'm in the process of getting the interview with G. Russell. And you're going to be the first one. You gonna be the first one I drop the link to. I'm saying, hey man, come on here <laughs> and tell G Russell what you said about Lova Chico, dog. Yeah, I will. I will, bro. He ain't gonna like it. He gonna get mad. I ain't trying to run him off the show because you know, <laughs> I'm gonna bring that pressure. I'm gonna bring the pressure. <laughs> I'm I'm you, G Russell, G Russell and his family, man. They they some woke people, man. They 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 the first family. I call them the first family. They they I respect them. I respect well, them. I do. Bro. I like Gary Antonio Russell. I love them all. I know, but dog, Yo, just go to one thirty, you... man. Go to one thirty. There's yeah, many don't people. Dunk head, bro. Please yeah, don't dunk many, head. Yeah, there's many people at one thirty. Why are you gonna stress he your did, body out he to make some big that fights, man? If you know his body is pretty reserved fighting once annual, annually, you know what I'm saying? So his body <laughs> hasn't had that wear and tear on it like most fighters. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. He do fight once Yo, a year. <laughs> I want to say this real quick though. Whoa, whoa. World Combat Sports, you right because he can box. He beat, he did beat Jojo Diaz. Gary Russell did beat Jojo Diaz. He beat uh, Johnny Gonzalez. Johnny Go Gonzalez was old. He was old then. But I just want to say this though, Burchett is a whole nother monster. He talking about skipping one thirty, right? He he be capping a lot. Gary Russell been doing a whole lot of capping. You know what I mean? Talking about he want to fight Broner. He want to fight Devin Haney. He want to do this. He want to do that. Bro, start off at one thirty. You got. Fighters like Burchett, Oscar Valdez, uh, uh, Shakur Stevenson. You still got Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert at 130. You Master got fighters like... Stop it, h Bun. You know Chris Colbert ain't Chris ready Colbert for damn Gary though. Russell. He ain't ready I'm for no Gary he's Russell. He's a good fighter, though. Yeah, I like Chris, man. I met him. I mean, come on, man. Chris Colbert ain't ready for G. Russell yet, man. But G. Russell got speed. He got athleticism. Like, he I like Chris Colbert. You talking about prime time, right? Yeah, prime time, uh, little beehive. Yeah, he ain't ready for G Russell yet, but he he will be the future though. He will be in the future. But I'm saying, like, you got fighters like Stefan Fulton. You got fighters, bro. Like, hey, one thirty's like loaded. One thirty's like loaded now. 
You 18, like Fulton, 18 okay. and 0, right? Yeah, 18 and 0, eight knockouts. Yeah, they loaded at 130. Go to 130. Test 130. People and only Pampoon. do that. Yeah, because now if I can go to 130 and beat people up real well, then I'll go to 35. But why am I going to go from 26 to 35? That is his age, man. His age. <laughs> He's trying to get the big money fight. His age, man. He can get him at 130. But Chad is good money. Valdez is good yeah. money. Those are, those are pay-per-view fights. People would actually okay. pay for that. Okay, one more question, and then we're going to get to the fight because the main event is starting. Alex mm -hmm. Saucedo versus Sonny Fredrickson. There in the ring is about to start. Sonny Fredrickson, 21 wins, only two losses, 14 knockouts from America. You know what I mean? Out of Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. Shout out to Toledo, man. You know what I mean? Quick question for the panel. Inouye or Castamero? I got Inouye. Who, who, you, who you got, World Combat? Oh, I got to go with Monster, bro. For sure. He got in the way. What about you, uh, D. Hodges? I don't know who other do this. So you already know. And knew he's my, I told you he's on my <laughs> list. He's on my list of my best boxers. You know I'm going with Go where the power's at, D. Hodges. Go where the power's at. I'll go with Nui, man. I told you he's my third boxer, him, Wilder, and Crawford. Those are my three favorites. I love a Nui. For so sure. Coco, what about you? I'm going to go with Nui because D. Hodges convinced me. Yeah, anyways, he pound for, they got him pound for pound, one of the best in the world. It's time for the fights. It's time to get this live commentary in right now. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody in the chat. We're live at the fights. You know what I mean? We got Alex Saucedo versus Sonny Fredrickson. Round number one, underweight. And Saucedo coming out with the jab. And uh, it looked like Saucedo with a big right hand. Saucedo putting the pressure on him. He's coming forward. I like the pressure that he's putting on him right now. Nice jab, though, from Fredrickson. Fredrickson with a nice jab. Fredrickson is the boxer. And Saucedo is the puncher. A classic fight between puncher and boxer. And Saucedo got him on the ropes. Oh, Saucedo put in a lot of pressure on him. And Fredrickson looks uncomfortable, bro. He looks uncomfortable in this one. You know what I mean? Salcedo, mm. right hand. Mm. Good inside mm. fighting. Good inside fighting from Salcedo. Relentless. That's that Mexican style right there. Oh, uppercut by Fredrickson with a sneaky uppercut by Fredrickson. He got the sneaky uppercut in there. Come on, Salcedo. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Let's uppercut, Salcedo. Fredrickson, get, get woke. Get woke, Fredrickson. Come on. You fighting off the back foot too much, man. Pivot out. Pivot out that corner. Damn. Hey, left hook That's to it. the body. Left hook to the body by a Saucedo. Big left hook. And Fredrickson, <laughs> bro, he, he looks uncomfortable. Oh, big right hand upstairs. Saucedo, big right hand right yeah, on the Saucedo temple. Saucedo giving him the business right now. I ain't going to lie. Damn. Yes, he is. Yes, oh, oh, man, yeah, yeah, man, so a nice hook. Yeah. His hit. Oh, he about to stop him. He about to stop him. Yeah. Let's he go. Making this fight look easy. Who the fuck did I pick? I had to pick Saucedo. I had no, to. We, we picked no, you <laughs> took for you. Up we up, up, you're not gonna get out of it. I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it written me. down. World Combat. Hey, hey! If we ain't out the first round, changes can be made. Revisions. Nah, that's no, not the no, that's, no, that's nah, not, not here. here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> and we got Fredrickson. Me and me and World Combat got Fredrickson. We both. I'm them. submitting addendums. God damn it, uh, addendums. I'm sit, I'm Come I'm on. submitting an addendum to change Fredrickson to freaking Salcedo. God damn. Salcedo putting the pressure on him. Fifty one seconds left. And round number one, and it's all Salcedo. Come on, get him out of there. He do, He's moving around. Oh, good. big right hand, left hook upstairs. Salcedo, uppercut. Oh, he buckled him. Let's go. Finish him. Finish him. Come on. Finish him, bro. Got him See, on the roll. I didn't even spoil it. I didn't even spoil what happened at the end. Left hook to the body. Salcedo, right hand right down the pipe. Another right hand. Salcedo. Unbelievable fight, bro. Salcedo putting that pressure on him, but Salcedo bleeding out his nose. So Fredrickson is landing his jab, though. Got to give Fredrickson some credit because that jab busted open. Uh, he busted open Salcedo's nose. 
You know yeah, what I mean? He's so looking strong, man. I have to give it to him. So I'll say those. He's very surgical early in the first round. So let's see what it's like in the second. Yo, Coco, what you got for round number one? Okay, H, I got it like this. I got it 10-9, Salcedo. Sonny didn't have nothing for him. He was on the back foot. He was trying to work the jab, but it wasn't enough to keep the pressure off him. 10-9, Alex Salcedo. D. Hodges, what about you, my boy? What you think? He told you he lost that round. <laughs> yeah, I already know. Uh, we're down one round. Yo, he beating the brakes Ooh, off him. Goodness, man. He on the World back foot, sport. man. Fredrickson's tough right now, but he, he's fighting off the back foot because he's being forced up against the ropes. He just haven't found his timing yet. You know, Salcedo's been right there, present pressure, and landing combinations, staying in the pocket, just, in, just within range. He ain't inside his range. Every time he throws his combination, he moves forward, and that's when Fredrickson put his high guard up. And and he isn't throwing punches. So that's when, you know, Salcedo is able to give that quality work. You know what I'm saying? This might be a stoppage, man. I hope I hope he's trying to let him punch himself out. Because this guy ain't throwing no punches. And the guy the black foot just he can fight, man. Well he can block. He ain't doing nothing right now. The guy in the black shorts just keep hitting him. (laughs) It's a 10 round fight, man. It's a 10 round fight. Oh, right hand to the body, Salcedo, bro. That's nothing but pressure, bro. That's that's that real Mexican style, relentless, all up in his chest. You know what I mean? Got Ooh, him on the roll. Nice, nice right hand up top. Damn, he's tearing Fredrickson up. Oh, short hook on the inside. He doubled up on the hook, too. And that's what go back to what I say. I wonder if people got a good chin or if they can't punch. Because, oh, this guy, this guy Fredrickson, be getting hit clean. Oh, clean. right hand right down the pipe. By Salcedo, but Fredrickson be sneaking in some little shots though on it. He be sneaking in like one little shot that'll land clean. I want to see Salcedo work on his head movement because Fredrickson is landing some punches in there. You know what I mean? So you want to, you know, improve. So one weakness I see from Salcedo, he's getting tagged. He's bleeding from his nose. You know what I mean? Hey, Fresh BX just said he said Coco one sound just like Harold Letterman. You know what I mean? Yeah, he does. Better. He does, but even better, bro. Coco even better than Letterman for sure. Let's go. Oh, right hand right there. Over the top right hand by Salcedo. He on the ropes. Go to the body with it. Oh, a short right hand just buckled him too. Yeah, he's hurting him with his punches too. He's landing punches and he's hurting him. Oh, man. Solid jazz by Fredrickson. Yeah, he's doing good this round. Yeah, he's doing good this round. Yeah, I can actually. I like like, like he kept that, that jab out there, man, consistently. Yeah, I think I can give him this round. I think I can call it one. Oh, one. he hit him with an uppercut, short, quick uppercut by Fredrickson. That was yeah, sneaky. Yeah, Fredrickson yeah. is one one in my opinion. It's one one. Oh, uh, that was sneaky. <laughs> hey, I'm I would never abandon my original bet. Never. <laughs> hey, you well, can't not on, not on this channel. Once you <laughs> pick him, you gotta stick with him. <laughs> Yo, World Combat Sports. Fredrickson is landing some sneaky punches in there, bro. If he had a little yeah. bit more power. I think he could have really like dropped them by now because those punches is landing clean. He landed clean to, shots. To be honest, I don't even think he used his power yet, bro. I think he's been with the high guard, the earmuffs on, Ooh. and he's been basically filling out um Salcedo's pressure, man. And like um D Hard just said, like do these does these guys have chins or the the sender doesn't have any power? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Oh, uppercut. I just seen the punch he was talking about. Big uppercut by Fredrickson on the inside, bro. Fredrickson, I think Fredrickson won that round. Yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. Nice it's 1-1 one, one, one right now. Oh, yep. It's definitely 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I got Come Fredrickson on. winning that round. Coco, what you, what, what's your thoughts on round number two? Okay, H, I got it like this. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Alex Toretto came in with the pressure the first two minutes of the round. And then Sonny came through and started working the jab. I wish I seen more effort in the beginning of the round and be more effective. I give up the round 10 9. Alex Salcedo. Facts. Facts, man. I like, I like what, um, for me, I got it 1 1. I like Fredrickson in that jab. He was popping that jab. He did a lot of damage in round number two. He did, he did better work for me. What about you, World Combat? Man, I'm telling you, Fredrickson coming on with the jab. 
First, you know, it was up close. He was just parking up against the ropes, man. But but look, Saucedo is still there, man. He's in. He's at the front door. He's still, you know, popping his jab and landing some combinations too. But it's all about how long Fredrickson stays on the ropes and allow him to get off. But I'm, I'm not sure what the judges are looking at, you know, when he lands some of those punches and they're off the glove of Fredrickson. You know, are they scoring them as being effective or what? Because he's making a miss this round, but yet he's still going up against the ropes, getting popped with that jab. Look at that. Three-punch combination by Saucedo. There's no way Fredrickson's going to win the fight standing park bench on, on the ropes like that. It's just not going to happen, man. Saucedo's just too active. He's, his, every, every shot he throws most of the time is popping the head back of Fredrickson. He might get the stoppage, man. I don't know. I hope he does. I hope he does. Oh, a big jab by Salcedo, and that jab just hurt Fredrickson. Yo, Salcedo punches, they're hurting Fredrickson. He can he can knock out Fredrickson. Triple jab by Salcedo, uppercut by Fredrickson on the inside. Fredrickson, bro, he's doing some work, but Salcedo, that jab, just keep popping it. He keep popping that jab, and he's walking him down, and he's putting the pressure on him. You know, some judges, they score fights by who's more aggressive. And oh, the right hand man, to the he just landed five shots off his head. Damn. He need to Ooh. stay off He's the ropes, Fredrickson. Stay off the ropes, Oh, you might want to stop it. Oh, I just seen a big. He landed six punches in a row, bro. Stay and big off the ropes. ropes. Why is he Ooh. on the ropes? Hold He's on. really touching up. He's touching up Fredrickson right now, man. He, he just hit him with two uppercuts and then came around with the left hook. I mean... It's, it's too much, man. If if he is reserving something, he, he needs to start getting going because his face is wearing the fight right now. You know, Cecilio's having very good success staying just that range and coming in and landing his combinations whenever he feels like it. Right hand to the body by Saucedo. Fredrickson's taking there a lot of punishment. Fredrickson. There you go. He's taking a lot of punishment, though, man. You know what I mean? His corner might want to stop the fight. We in round number three, and Salcedo nah. having a strong round. Nah, he, he don't need to stop it. Money. He's what fine. He's fine. Stop the He's fight. fine. He, on, don't, he don't need to stop the fight. He's, he's not punishment, though, bro. You don't, want to, not, you don't want him to be a damaged fighter after this. Man. But he's not getting – no, but he's – I'm telling you, bro, if you, if you put it in slow motion, he's blocking most of the punches. Dude is getting some in there, but – He's not getting the full punches like dudes taking him on the arms and Fredrickson's doing good blocking. Don't get me wrong. It's still 2-1 Sauce Sas Duke, whatever. Saucedo, whatever his name is. So it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's still 2-1 to one his way, but that round, two dude, did, like dude. Dude, dude did kind of good. Like He wasn't really taking true damage because he was rolling and blocking and, you know. Yeah, he doing uh, good. He, he started, oh, he started doing better towards the end of the round. I'm I'm starting to see it. He did, yeah, he did a lot of good work towards the end of the round. I wonder Everybody if Salcedo was slowing down. It looked like he's starting to get tired a little bit. You know what yeah, I mean? It don't matter. It's still two to one Salito. And I'm not biased. Um, my guy's losing right now, but I got it two one for um Sasa, whatever his name is. I got Yo, it. Yo, Coco, what about you? Coco the dog. Okay, H. Okay, H. I got it like this. I have Salcedo, 10-9. Sonny, the only defense he has is his face. Facts. Yo, D, t turn your TV down for me, D. Oh, sorry. My fault, bro. That's why I've been mute. Oh, nice. Nice. There you go, Fredrickson. There you go. There you go, baby. Oh, he had uh, Saucedo uh, froze up there for a second, man. I'm telling you, man, if Saucedo gets tired and Fredrickson starts to come on, it's going to be crucial. It's only a 10 well, round fight, too. So that, that's it. I see make what it, you're talking well, about. Oh, I'm sorry. I got right, excited right. there. You good, Coco. You good. You know, what, say what you're about to say, Coco. Go ahead. No, I saw what Combat Sport, that exchange that he saw. For sure. See, the thing is this it's only a 10 round fight. So if Saucedo does get tired, it's not like it's a 12 rounder. You know what I mean? So it's a shorter fight. We already in round number four, Saucedo, bro. You know what I mean? They said Chris Algeri. And they saying Fredrickson on some Chris Algeri type-ish. You know what I mean? He on his Paula Malignaggi type-ish. You know what I mean? Salcedo, TJ4 said Salcedo got that Abel, Abel Sanchez style. Oh, so, yeah, Fredrickson doing work. He better be careful. He better stay with that movement because he's going to get stopped. If you want to be flat-footed, 
be a stationary target, he gonna get stopped, bro. That's what we want. Right hand, right down the pipe. Salcedo, look how he's popping jab. his oh. head back, bro. Look how he's popping his head back. Salcedo's just popping. Look, he's shooting it straight up the middle through his guard and popping his head back. That's still punishment. They grading that as score, man. Effective, uh, effective punches, man. Shit. Yeah, King Mitch, King Mitch said Fredrickson on his Paula Malinaji type ish. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Come on, round what? number four. Let's go. Let's go. Live at the fights. He just missed One the ball right here. Jab upstairs by Salcedo. Salcedo with the jab, keeping him at bay. And um, with good movement though from Fredrickson, but he do he got some skills now. Left hook upstairs. Yes, right hand to the body. Fredrickson fires back off the ropes. Let's go. What a fight. Come on, Salcedo. You need to get him out of there, bro. Salcedo slowed down and quick jab oh. by Fredrickson. Oh, the best punch of the fight. Damn, he and he took him right back to the corner, man. Who landed the best punch? Fredrickson, man. He caught him with a hard left hand, man. But so Get Cito, every road. time he gets hit, man. Oh, I just saw it. I just saw it. Nice. Let's go. Come on, Salcedo. Oh, uppercut. Oh, big uppercut, Fredrickson. Fredrickson got hey, he can fight low key, bro. He, he kind of remind me of Al Jerry, though, for sure. Left hook to the oh, another uppercut, Fredrickson. Dang, Fredrickson. Fredrickson doing some work, though, bro. He's do hey, yeah, he's doing it at right the right time, Come on, bro. You need to get him out of there, bro. You got to go to the body. You should have been went to the body and got him out of there. Fredrickson yeah, sneaky, hey, bro. Hey, H-Line, just imagine if Fredrickson's picking up his pace right now in midway through the through the fight. Um, The back end, man, it might, it might he might press the gas out on Salcedo, man. You never know. Salcedo got him on the ropes now. 22 seconds in round number four. Salcedo with a right hand to the body. Left hook to the body, Salcedo. Great work towards the end of the round. Fredrickson fires. He's firing shots off the ropes. Fredrickson knows how to fight off the ropes, too. Fredrickson, look. Man, Fredrickson going to be a problem for some people, bro. For some <laughs> flat-footed fighters, Fredrickson, bro, he going to get he, – he got some skills, bro. Low-key, he do. For sure. Coco to Don, take it away. Okay, H. You know how I like it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Alex Salcedo gets another round on my end. 10-9. Sonny's counter-punching. He's getting some punches in there. A hard a hard right hook ended at the end of the round. I liked it. I want to see more of it. This is an interesting fight. I can't wait to see the next round. Sure. What do you think about the fight, uh, World Combat Sports? Very entertaining fight, man. You know, I'm seeing the shifts. Um, you know, the shift is in momentum from both fighters. Um, they landed some solid um combinations you know what i like is the fundamentals both fighters are using the jab and i like what i've seen with Sacido, how he's dub doubling up on the hook sometime and um really putting the pressure through the guard of fredrickson's he's shooting it right down the middle three o'clock and popping the head back but yet when fredrickson does counters man he has pretty decent power on those counters and he put his combinations together too you know, to the body, to the head. But one problem that he's having is backing up to the ropes. I, um, that's killing him right now. I think if he continues to do that through the rest of the fight and so see those having success going to the body and the head, he's, he's going to lose the fight. Facts. Round number five. Let's go. Oh, big right hand over the top by Salcedo. And Fredrickson is back on the ropes. Come on, now you got to do work. Work him right here. Come on, man. He's Get off the ropes! Get off the freaking ropes, homie. So, Salcedo is starting to slow down a little bit. Come on, Salcedo. He got to work on his stamina uppercut by Fredrickson. It's round number five. Very close fight now. Salcedo with there a big go, jab. Right there. He's, oh, that, you need more than that right uppercut, man. Shoot that again. Shoot that. Seal oh, it up with oh. a left, left hook. Andre Shoot Ward it. got it 39 to 37 for um Salcedo. Close fight, only two rounds. J man, good jab by Fredrickson. Fredrickson tripling with his jab. Jab upstairs, Fredrickson. Fredrickson on the move. Fredrickson with some great footwork. Come on, Salcedo, get up on him, bro. What you waiting on, man? He's, man, Salcedo should have been finished this man, bro. Get, he's on the ropes. Pressure, let's go. Mexican style, left hook to the body. Here we go. Let the hands go. Big shots, uppercut Fredrickson off the rope. 
Fredrickson with the high guard defense off the ropes. And Salcedo, oh, uppercut Fredrickson. He got a sneaky uppercut, bro. I swear to God. Left hook to the body. Fredrickson fires off the ropes. Salcedo slowing down, bro. He's really, he looked like he getting gassed out. Right hand upstairs, Fredrickson. Salcedo, he put in mental and physical pressure on Fredrickson. But Fredrickson oh. is a game opponent. Oh, Fredrickson round. <laughs> he was piecing him. Let's oh, go. No solid work, Fredrickson. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Uppercut. Stay your ass off the on. ropes, goddammit. Uppercut by Fredrickson. And Salcedo using his head movement. Come on, man. Salcedo, you got to walk him down now. Salcedo trying to, he trying to box. You know what I mean? Fredrickson is starting to back up Salcedo. Fred, Fredrickson with a wild left hook. Fredrickson, beautiful jab. Keeping him at bay now. And Salcedo slowing down, bro. Salcedo, his stamina is not up to par, I believe, bro. His cardio is kind of off. Uppercut, Fredrickson. Fredrickson is going for an upset. Jab upstairs, Fredrickson. Fredrickson looking sharp, bro. He kind of remind me of Al Jerry for sure, bro. You know what I mean? Let's go. Round number five. Ten seconds left. Left hook upstairs, Fredrickson, to end the round. Combination, Fredrickson. Oh, Fredrickson won that round for sure. Coco, take it away. Okay, H. I got a round. Sonny Fredrickson, 10-9 over Alex Salcedo. This might be the, the changing of the tide. He was more effective. He stood his ground. And you know what? He seems like the more fresher fighter at this stage. Let's go. Referee Tony Weeks, you don't have to stop the fight. For sure, for sure. Fredrickson showed us a lot of heart because in round number one, he was hurt. And now Fredrickson is starting to take advantage of World Combat Sports. How do you got the fight going right now? Yo, Coco, what's, how I sound? I'm good? You sound good, H. Call it, call okay. it man. We're doing D. it. Hodges. D. Hodges, what you think about the fight right now? It's for sure. I'm going to do the commentary. Let's go. Round number six. JFL heads in the building. What up, Bro. Jay? What up, Ace Money? What up, Coco? The Don? What up to the chat, Smoke? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to do my thing. DSFG. 38 and 0. JFL. And still undefeated. We undefeated. Right. Man. <laughs> we undefeated. Round six. Hey, hey, go go. <laughs> what it do? Round number six. JFL. Oh, big right hand, Fredrickson. Fredrickson versus Saucedo. And JFL. Saucedo is the favorite in this fight. Fredrickson was hurt in round number one. He's making his adjustments. And right now, he's looking slick. Oh, big left hook by Saucedo. It's a close fight. I got it one round for Saucedo now. Fredrickson been sneaking. He's been um, landing some clean shots. Oh, double jab. Salcedo, come on, man. Put the pressure on him. Round number six in this 10-round fight. Fredrickson jabbing him from the outside. He on his Paula Malinaji tip. He coming like Pauly. Jabbing him up from the outside. He's looking quick and slick. Left hook. Oh, big left hook by Salcedo. Buckled him. He's on the ropes. Right hand, Salcedo. Hand speed. Salcedo going for the kill right here. And Fredrickson, he gets out of harm's way with his footwork and his jab. Big jab by Salcedo coming. Salcedo, he's coming out in round number six, and he's going for the knockout. Left hook by Salcedo. Short left hook lands, and Salcedo's winning round number round number six right now. He's coming out strong. Oh, a big right hand. Salcedo, come on, bro. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. Left hook to the temple. Salcedo, get him on the ropes. Damn, Fredrickson look like he hurt. Uh you got to finish him, though, D. Fredrickson got hard. He showed us in round number one. He can recover. Big left hook by Salcedo. Wild left hook lands. Salcedo with the big pressure in round number six. He's landing a lot of punches. And Salcedo, is, he's on a, he's putting the pressure on a right hand Salcedo again. Fredrickson is on a run. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Fredrickson is hurt. Big combination by Salcedo. Come on, go to the body with it, bro. You're going to stop him if you go to the body. The referee, Salcedo. Tony Winks, is looking very hard. Salcedo round. Go Let's go. 4-2 Salcedo. Sills in the building. Shout out to my boy, OK Gusto in the chat. Appreciate it. John Kramer. You know what I mean? Sills. Appreciate it. Round number six. And now the jab is landing.
big jab by Fredrickson. He's on his toes and he's boxing. He's boxing him on his toes. He's staying away. Oh, Salcedo right here to the temple. Big shots. Left hook to the body. Salcedo giving it to him Mexican style. Doubling and tripling with his jab. Go for the uppercut now. Uppercut going to be money. Jab upstairs, Salcedo. Salcedo got him on the ropes. He's unloading. Let the hands go. Right hand. Fredrickson slowed down in round number six. Fredrickson slowed down. All Salcedo in round number six. Plenty of pressure. You know what I mean? He did a lot of damage. Coco to Don, take it away. H-Money, you know, I got it like this. 10-9, Alex Salcedo, he brought the pressure. He had the punches. He was knocking them around. Sonny Ferguson was covered up, getting hit, trying to counter. It wasn't there. 10-9, Alex Salcedo. World Combat Sports, what's your thoughts, bro? The same, man. That's how I have it. I'm, I'm just looking at these later rounds, man. See if um, Salcedo's either going to stop him or Fred is going to um, mount some type of combat because it seemed like more and more he gets hurt, man. He gets He's slowing down. You know, he's game. Fredrick is game. But Salcedo is too accurate with his punches, man. When he popped that jab up there, you know, he has Fredrickson doing the bobblehead. Easy, man. You know? And he has... Right now... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, he just has more compact, solid combinations, man. When he shoot that that left, right, he don't stop punching. But they're going at it right now, though, man. Get your commentary. It's all good. For sure. So... Um, Salcedo has landed 175 punches through six rounds, and uh, Fredrickson with only 95 punches. You know what I mean? So Salcedo's outlanding them 175 to 95 on the punch stats. And round number seven, and Salcedo, he got to keep it. He got to keep that same energy and come out strong. You know what I mean? And uh, jab upstairs by Salcedo in round number seven in his 10 round fight. So Fredrickson is keeping him. On the outside, he's keeping him at bay, you know, on the, on the end of that jab. And that's what Fredrickson wants to do. Keep him at the end of your jab and, you know, use your footwork. And right now, it looks like Fredrickson is being flat-footed. He's standing toe-to-toe with Salcedo, and this is where he's going to go all wrong. You know what I mean? This is where he can get caught and he can get stopped. He can get knocked out like that. Well, Fredrickson has a lot of heart, a lot of heart from Fredrickson. He's putting up a good fight. Jab upstairs, Salcedo. Jab, right hand, Salcedo. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Right hand lead. By get Salcedo. off the ropes. Get off the ropes. Let's go. It's a great fight. Combination to the body, Fredrickson. Fredrickson throws a flurry. And um, Salcedo with the big jab now. Now Salcedo's looking comfortable. He looking real comfortable right now. I think Salcedo is starting to pull away in this fight with one minute and 34 seconds left. And round number seven, Salcedo coming forward. Continue to put the pressure on him. Let's go. Keep putting the pressure on him. Let's go. Jab to the body, Salcedo. Triple jab to the body, and he brought it upstairs. Right hand lead, Salcedo. Both fighters look kind of gassed right here. Oh, big right hand by Fredrickson. He just snuck in a big right hand. Fredrickson is a very sneaky fighter. Another right hand by Fredrickson. Fredrickson with the jab. Fredrickson uppercut. Fredrickson. Yo, Fredrickson can fight, bro. I can't lie. That kid got some skills, bro. Underrated fighter. Still, right. Oh, still, big right hand. He just he hit still the lost the round, though. He still lost the round. He, he still just, lost the round, man. He got skills, man. He going to eventually, Fredrickson, he can upset somebody, bro. He's going to be the type of fighter that upset somebody one day, bro. You know what I mean? So shout out to Fredrickson. He got a lot of heart. Round number seven. Oh, Salcedo. Salcedo is just the busier fighter. He's landing a bigger and harder shots, and uh, he's staying more active. But don't sleep on Fredrickson, bro. He's the type of fighter you don't want to sleep on. Kind of reminds me of Chris Algeri when Chris Algeri had beat Ruslan Provodnikov, bro. You know what I mean? You remember that fight, World Combat Sports? He, he dropped off. Shout out to World Combat Sports, bro. Let's go. What a fight. Frederick, H, said, man. H, you gotta, H, you gotta go to me, man. Go ahead, Coco, take over. Okay, H, I got it like this. Alex Salcedo, 10-9. Sonny Fredrickson is trying to look for a counter. It's not there. The key word of that round is activity. Alex Salcedo was just more active, and he looks like he wants this fight more than Sonny Fredrickson. 
Facts. You know what I mean? Uh, D. Hodges, man, talk to me. Not, what you think about what's really, going on? Not really. Frederick is trying. It's just like you can try and do as well as you can. It just seemed like um, Sassiano's hands is just a little bit too much for him. You you can try, for sure. but for sure, everybody hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? Round number eight coming up. What a fight, man! They said Fredrickson is slowing down. He is. I think it's some of those body shots that um Salcedo landed in there. Some of those body shots is taking his legs away. Let's go. Round man, number how eight. Many, how many times he got punched in the head on the ropes? Yeah, right. He's taking brain damage right now. Salito was hitting him with so many clean upstairs punches, especially on the ropes. Oh, yeah. He's definitely Let's taking go. I got damage. The I got you. Let's go. Round number eight just started. And Fredrickson with a quick flurry. Fredrickson let the hands go, but he's not hurting him. You know what I mean? Is he? I think he has no power. Fredrickson has a lack of power. And Salcedo, you know what I mean? In round number eight, he's. I think he's have, he has a comfortable lead right now. You know what I mean? Jab upstairs, Fredrickson with no power behind it. You know what I mean? He just threw a lazy jab with no power. Salcedo with another with another jab by Salcedo. Now is a chess match. Right hand lead lands by Salcedo. You gotta finish him, bro. Salcedo needs to go for the knockout and make a statement in this one. Fredrickson with a quick combination. That'd be crazy if they get a win of Fredrickson, though. <laughs> well, if they go to the scorecards, they give it to Fredrickson. That'd be wild, bro. Jab upstairs. Fredrickson, oh, Salcedo just missed a, a big left hook. Salcedo just missed a big left hook. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to JFL Heads. Go to J DSFG 38 and 0 channel and go subscribe to the brother. Uppercut Fredrickson on the inside. Big uppercut. Right hand to the body, Salcedo in round number eight. Jab upstairs, Salcedo. And Fredrickson is slowing down. His movement is no more movement. He's flat footed now. His legs are gone. You know what I mean? But both fighters are pretty gassed in round number eight. Let's go. Jab upstairs. Salcedo lands. Another jab by Fredrickson. Fredrickson comes back. It's a great fight. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Let's go. He said Fred is slacking now. Sills, he's tired, bro. Sills, he got tired. Jab. Fredrickson, he's missing. Fredrickson is missing all of his punches now. He's very tired. Salcedo, come on, go for the kill. Right hand lead by Salcedo lands. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Uppercut, Fredrickson. Fredrickson with a big uppercut. Fredrickson can sneak up on you, bro. He's the oh uppercut. Fredrickson. Fredrickson comes back with a flurry. Fredrickson got a lot of heart. A lot of heart by Fred, bro. A lot of heart from Fredrickson in this one. Yo, Coco, how's my audio? I'm good. You sound great. Okay. For sure. Fredrickson is a very sneaky fighter. They trade big shots in the middle of the ring. Left hook. Left hook. Big exchange. Left hook by Salcedo landed. And Fredrickson got a lot of heart, bro. Man, this kid, a lot, I got. A, I see a lot of potential in Fredrickson. This is a but great fight. He needs a knockout or a knockdown. Right now, he's losing. Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm... He's got a lot of heart, bro. Even in, in, oh, if he oh, loses, bro. Oh, he yeah, he won some fans tonight. Yeah, on dogs, he got me as a fan. I picked him. I respect him, but I'm just calling the fight how I see it, and he needs something dramatic right now. <laughs> Sasa, Sasa, no, sure. whatever. He been beating him For up sure. the whole fight, so he needs something. Coco to Don, Coco to Don, come in with it. Okay, H, I saw two good things out of Sonny. He got two clean uppercuts, and he also had a couple of good exchanges with with Alex Alcido, but it wasn't enough to get the round. I do like his effort, but I would like to see more punches thrown. You know, Alex Alcido, the more active, more effective puncher, he's taking the round 10-9 again. Because he has nothing to lose. I will be in there throwing everything in the kitchen sink. I'm already losing. I know I know I'm losing by points. So nine nine and tough round, that's when you show your dog and you you go in there and try to punch as hard as you can. Yeah, but right now he's still on the ropes and <laughs> Oh, sure, boy. World Combat Sports, what, what you think about the fight so far? Round number nine now. For sure, for sure. Let's go. Round number nine. Jab upstairs. Saucedo. Saucedo comes out with a stiff jab, bro. Right on his face. And you know what? Saucedo, he's, 
I just want to see Salcedo in the future improve on his uh, cardio. Over the hand right by uh, Fredrickson Lance. Salcedo, you know what I mean? He's popping his head back, bro. He's making his head Fredrickson is gas. Fredrickson is gas right now. And Salcedo need to go for the for the knockout. Andre Ward has the 70, 78 to 74 Salcedo. And Fredrickson with a jab. Fredrickson fires some shots, but there's no power behind his punches. Fredrickson has no power at all. You know what I mean? And um, let's go. Jab to, oh, a big jab to the body. Just hurt Fredrickson. A big jab to the body. Just knocked the wind out of Fredrickson. Fredrickson is on the move. Fredrickson trying to use his footwork. And Salcedo just missed a wild right hand. Oh, big right hand by Salcedo. Fredrickson is on the ropes. He's hurt. I'm low. Get him out of there. Come on, bruh. Give it to him. Double jab. Salcedo uppercut by Fredrickson on the inside. Grab upstairs by Salcedo. Turn the TV down for me, D. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Jab sorry. Upstairs. sorry. Jab upstairs by Salcedo. Jab to the body, Salcedo. Salcedo with the great, with the great pressure in this one, bruh. He can always get better. You know what I mean? Salcedo has to improve on his cardio in the future and his head movement because Fredrickson is landing some sneaky uppercuts. And Fredrickson, you know, if he had more power, Fredrickson could have knocked him out possibly. So Salcedo in the future, he, he needs need to, to stay off the rope. He needs to stay off the ropes in the future. That's his problem on them ropes. Yes, he's Fredrickson. Getting... He's talking he's... About Fredrickson. He needs to stay off the ropes. Let's go. Fredrickson with a quick flurry. With no power behind it. Jab upstairs, Fredrickson. Right hand lead by Salcedo. Double jab by Sa Salcedo with a double jab. And Salcedo is starting to walk him down and put the pressure on him. And uh, Fredrickson trying to use his footwork, and he's trying to stay away. Fredrickson is a slick boxer, but you know what? Salcedo, the pressure that Salcedo was able to put on him made him very uncomfortable. And Salcedo's winning the fight just off of power punching. You know what I mean? And pressure. Left hook upstairs. Salcedo. Jab upstairs. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Salcedo with the jab to the face. Jab upstairs. Salcedo. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Come on. Right hand to the body by Salcedo. Left hook to the body. Salcedo. Round number round number nine. Let's go with a fight. Jab upstairs. Salcedo. Uppercut Fredrickson. Fredrickson with no power. Coco to Don. Take it away. H money, I got another one here for Alex Salcedo. Sonny Fredrickson is just not doing enough. You know, we got an active fighter like Alex Salcedo. You know, next thing you know, I need to see him get him out of there. You know, Sonny's taking too much punishment. He's not doing any effort to get out of it, out of the, the ropes. You know, I really need to see something from the kid because right now, if I were Son if I were Tony Weeks, I would have to like maybe get him out of there just to prevent him from having some trauma. Let's go. What a fight. World Combat Sports. Appreciate it, man. What you think about it, D. Hodges? What you think about the fight? It's round number 10. 10th and final round. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Hey, my boy, Jonathan Wimberding. Shout out to Jonathan Wimberding in the chat. He said, move your feet, Fredrickson. He needs to. He needs to move his feet. Round number he 10. Lost. He lost. Tenth Fredrickson lost. He lost. For sure. I got you, D. Take the final round. Let's go. Let's finish strong. I'm gonna give you the yeah, best. I'm gonna give you the best commentary. Let's go. Round number ten. And um, jab upstairs. Just landed by Fredrickson. Fredrickson with a quick flurry to start off round number ten. We in the final round. Oh, right hand by um Salcedo. Fredrickson just slipped and hit the canvas. I think it's out of out of fatigue. I think he just was so tired. That he slipped and he fell. Oh, big right hand by Fredrickson. Fredrickson is going for the knockout. Does he have the power to get it? Fredrickson with the big shots. Jab upstairs by Salcedo. Double him with the jab. Salcedo. You know what I mean? Uppercut just missed from Salcedo. Good defense by Fredrickson right there. Right hand by Fredrickson. Just got in. Salcedo with a combination. One-two combination by Salcedo. Salcedo with a jab upstairs. Jab upstairs, Salcedo. Right hand down the pipe. Over the hand right by Fredrickson just missed. Fredrickson is on the ropes. Salcedo got to go in and finish him off. Salcedo with a big combination. Fredrickson is in trouble. Fredrickson is in big trouble. Hit the like button. He needs the knockout. 
Gusto, you're right. He needs the knockout. He has no power. For sure. What a fight. Left hook to the body by Fredrickson. Let's go. One minute and 39 seconds in the 10th and final round. Left hook by Fredrickson. And Salcedo coming back with a big left hook of his own. And it snapped. Salcedo just snapped his head back, bro. Snapped his head back with a big left hook. And Salcedo going for the knockout. Fredrickson is on the ropes. He's out of gas. Let's go, Salcedo. Finish him. One minute and 17 seconds left. Jab upstairs. Salcedo, can he get the knockout? Jab. He's measuring with the jab. And Fredrickson is completely tired. He has no power behind his punches. Jab upstairs by Salcedo. Salcedo, what a great performance, bro. He's dominating right now in round number 10. Fredrickson Unanimous no decision. Power. Unanimous I decision. For, I got it. For the- I got it, D. Jab upstairs by Salcedo. Salcedo letting his hands go. One, he is 46 seconds left. And Fredrickson is completely tired. He has no energy. Jab to the body by Salcedo. Salcedo giving it to him. Right hand, Salcedo in round number 10. Salcedo with a right hand uppercut. Unbelievable. Let's go. Salcedo. What a performance, bro. 30 seconds left in the fight. Salcedo. He completely dominated round number 10. That's how you want to do it. You know, make it a clear, a clear cut victory. 17 seconds left. Right hand, Salcedo. Jab upstairs, Salcedo. Dominated right hand again. And Fredrickson got dominated, bro. Fredrickson got a lot of heart, though, man. I think Fredrickson in the future. He can still become a, a champion, bro. Jab, and the fight is over. Coco to Don, take it away. Okay, H, I got it. 99 to 91. Nine rounds to 10. Alex Alcido. It's a definitely should be a unanimous decision. It would be a disgrace if the judges saw it any other way. Sonny Fredrickson, I, I enjoyed your effort, but it wasn't enough. No, he got two rounds. I give him two rounds out of ten. It's eight to two. I give Fred. He did good in two different. I don't remember what round, but it I was give the. Him two. It was the. It was the third for me. Uh, there was a. I could have gone either way in the third, but uh, I gave it to. Uh, no, I gave it me. to Alex Alcido. No, believe me, it's a, definitely a win. It's eight to two. I just was giving him charity rounds. <laughs> it pretty much was a whitewash because he kept popping his head back. Like he got punched so many times in the head. Oh, my God, man. I'm like, yo, are you going to block your face, dude? He he wasn't blocking his face. That's why I wonder if it's the power or if the person could take the punch. Because obviously Fredrickson could take the punch because he was getting flushed. Straight flush, straight right, straight hook, straight. I'm like, pressure, oh, my pressure, God. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And the he's World on the World Combat Sports fan. He's not my Combat Sports let, Sorry. let me Sorry. say something real quick. D, you good, Sorry. you good. Yo, World Combat Sports, wh- what you think about the fight and uh, how did you score it? I like what Salcedo has to, had to give from round one all the way through the fight. There were moments where Fredrickson, you know, he was coming on just a little bit. You know, he was able to land some sneaky uppercuts. And then, you know, he'll come off the ropes and pop that jab and keep it very rangy. But ultimately, the consistency in scoring effective shots came from Salcedo. Salcedo was the much more active fighter. Every time Fredrickson hit him with a good shot, Salcedo moved closer. And he landed at one point in time, it seemed like 10 or 15 unanswered shots. You know, and you can't allow that to happen. I don't think in no time during the fight, Fredrickson broke the momentum of Salcedo. So Salcedo was able to come in as he pleased and land those combinations. And he started mixing it up very well. You know, he was doubling up on his hook sometime. You know, he stayed pretty active and um, punctual on his jab. And I like what I've seen with Sacedo, man. He won the fight definitively. Um, yeah, I give Fredrickson about one or two rounds, if that. I can't give him three. I just don't know where I can goddamn source that fund, for, that GoFundMe from. But, yeah, the mail was in the box, man. Good fight for Sacedo, man. Salute to both fighters for entertainment. Yes, thank you, thank you. Sure. you. Unanimous decision was uh was the official was the official decision by the judges. Um, yeah, man. Um, you know, I I gave I gave the fifth round to Sonny. I thought he did. I thought right there he was uh more effective. He stood his ground. Um, you know, 
he was he was definitely the 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 cleaner puncher in that round. Um, but at the same time, Alex Alcido in that round uh, kept applying pressure. But I think that that was um, that was the round where I felt like maybe the momentum could change and I could see it going in Sonny Frederick's direction. But it didn't happen that way. No, nope. for sure, for sure, man. It was a great fight. JFL heads, man. What's your thoughts on this great night of boxing? I think he's away from the mic. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, so far, what I had, good breakdown and a uh, good fight, man. It seemed one sided to me. For sure, for sure, man. For sure, it was a great fight. Shout outs to Alex. Salcedo with a great performance and um you know what I mean he got the W unanimous unanimous decision for Alex Salcedo he just beat he just beat Sonny Fredrickson you know what I mean it was a great performance in the future I want to see Alex Salcedo improve his cardio because um I seen Fredrickson have some good moments in that fight you know what I mean he has some good moments in the fight Sonny Fredrickson is a slick boxer he reminds me of a Chris Algeri, you know what I mean? He's like a Chris Algeri type of fighter, and I feel like he can become a champion one day. You know what I mean? If he gets the right trainer, he got he got the skills to do it, bro. He got the jab, he got the footwork, he got movement, a lot of potential for Sonny Fredrickson. You know what I mean? So keep his head up, and he also showed us a lot of heart, bro, because he was hurt in round number one, and he continued to fight. He never quit, and he never gave up. You know what I mean? He was a he was a great opponent, but Salcedo was too strong and he was too big, too powerful. You know, maybe in the future, if they get a rematch, you know what I mean? I could see Sonny Fredrickson possibly beating Salcedo with the skills that he brought to the table. You know what I mean? I think I think they should probably do a rematch in the future. You know what I mean? But two very good opponents. It was a great night of boxing. Shout out, shout outs to Alex Salcedo. What a great win. Great power, great pressure. You know what I mean? He needs to improve his head movement as well because Sonny Fredrickson landed a lot of clean shots on him, a lot of clean shots. And in the future, if he goes against a power puncher, I feel like Salcedo, he can get knocked out. You know what I mean? He needs to move, work on his head movement and his cardio in the future. You know what I mean? But, you know, in the future, I think both of these fighters can be champions. Alex Salcedo improves his record to 30 wins and 19 knockouts. Appreciate everybody in the chat. You know what I mean? Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody on the panel. World Combat Sports, DSFG 38 and 0. You know what I mean? D Hodges, and especially the one and only co-host of the year, Coco to Don, bro. Appreciate everybody, man. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all, bro. It was a great night of boxing. I'm looking forward to um, Thursday. Jose Pedraza is coming back to the ring. You know what I mean? It's going to be some great fights. For sure, man. Can't wait. I'm going to definitely be here. I love all y'all in the chat. I love this show. That's why I'm here every day. So you have a good night, my G. I love you, bro. Yeah. Man, I love you too, man. Uh, any final thoughts from anybody on the panel? Go ahead. Yes, I would like to uh, thank everybody that tuned in. Uh, you know we always try to bring that fire for you. And, uh, you know, much love to everybody on the panel and much love to everybody around the world tuning in because, you know, we worldwide out here. For sure. For sure. World Combat Sports, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. Go subscribe to World Combat Sports. You know what I mean? He has a great channel, great interviews with Deontay Wilder, great commentary on the UFC and boxing. Go check out his channel ASAP. Go check out DSFG 38 and 0. You know what I mean? We will be live tomorrow, 9.30 Eastern time. You know what I mean? Same time, same place. Appreciate everybody, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, World Combat Sports, final thoughts before we go. Man, thanks for having me on, man. Great show. Great panel. Um, it's always good, you know, to have um, different minds on here, getting different, you know, areas of op opinion about a boxing card. You know what I'm saying? Without all the other nonsense that goes on. But, man, respect y'all brothers, man. Keep on doing your thing. And, um, you know, until next time, man, boxing ain't going nowhere. We got a, another fight card popping off when? Thursday? Yep, Thursday. So we got another one popping off Thursday and then the big one, of course, next week. 
So, man, all y'all brothers on here, salute to you. Y'all keep on, um, stay safe out here, keep grinding. And um, till next time, man, salute from World Combat Sports. For sure. Thank Peace, you. bro. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming through, man. Uh, go ahead, Coco. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no, just saying thank you to World Combat Sports. Much respect, you know. Uh, definitely appreciate your opinion. And, uh, you know, please uh, come back anytime. You know, we're here. Uh, this is what we do, you know. For yeah, sure. um, I, I, didn't know you, I, I didn't know he had the um, I didn't know he had the breakdown. You know, that's the first time you hear him do that. That was pretty cool. He oh, actually he's sounded fire. just like he's him. Fire. Yo, he's fire, bro. Coco, bro, he's one of the best in the game, bro. If not the best, you know what I mean. So, man, I, just, I love having him on the show, man. You know what I mean. He makes the show what it is for sure. You need to make a sound for bite sure. of that, man. You need to make a sound bite. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the compliments. And, you know, it's all love. Thank you. For sure. JFL, final thoughts, my brother, before we head out. Take us out, JFL. H Money, Coco the Don, the best live stream, live commentary, and uh, boxers comparisons on YouTube, man. The finest, man. The A side, man. For sure. For sure, man. JFL heads, appreciate that, man. Alex Salcedo, he wins by unanimous decision. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We out. Peace.